On that note, why don't we just go ahead and jump right into it? Who wants to do a uh, recap? Matt's watched the episode twice. Oh, Josh boy. just raised his hand. No, no. Yeah, oh, did. Yeah, you did it. You did it. Oh, I don't fuck. know that game. He's pointing to himself. That's really. not it. That's what that is. That's not it. Not it. All right. Josh I'll do, a, I'll do a really quick, no. simple no. recap. I'll do a really quick, simple That's recap. Okay. See, it. once upon no, a time, I, I was this guy no, named no, Garamond. No, no, no. Dude, let me try this. Let me try this. And then I fought my my dragonborn monk. So we're in Brinchander. <laughs> uh, and yeah. we're... We went to see the sheriff to look for jobs. He didn't have any jobs. And then we got some other quests. And then all of a sudden, giants show up. And then he sacrifices himself. Now we're on our way to Hundlestone. I'm still alive. The end. See? How good was that? Impressive. <laughs> I mean, it was the fastest one you've ever done. <laughs> I left out as much detail you as You missed I could. the part where one of the party tried to kneecap... The NPC that we were supposed to be hanging out with. That was pretty good. Much like our villain talk, <laughs> I was trying to save his life. <laughs> By hitting him in the, the knee better. with the mall. So that he wouldn't go face the, the dozen giants. Yeah, I mean, his heart was in the right place. All right, someone can do kind a real of. recap. Alex is good at doing recaps. That being said, if Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal wanted to get rid of one of our kneecaps... And we gave him a mall to Keep do it with. Keep going back to this, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> I'm just saying, by comparison, yeah, if he hit me in the knee, it, it doesn't. It, I, have a, I have bad knees. There's so no second swing. And it would There's no like running afterward. Fruit. There's no. no any of that. No, no. <sighs> just one of the the my seven dozen issues. You must with have D and D five E. You just you grazed him. That being said, though, like if a Camara went at your kneecap. You would be down instantly as a player, and that wouldn't be any fun. So, yeah. oh, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> we would we would find elaborate ways to not be in that situation. <laughs> now it doesn't matter. So we like I don't know. Yeah. Let's all go stand next to it and hit it with our sticks. Basically, we <laughs> we were like you know movie star heroes, mm -hmm. right? Like we can take a serious ass kicking. We go through a short rest. We're like, I feel better now. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I had a sip yeah, of barely coffee. an inconvenience, <laughs> right? So, uh, so we were in Hundlestone. We were looking for some cash, so we tried to do some jobs. We got some jobs, actually. I ended Brinchander. up... Brinchander. Oh, sorry, Brinchander. What, what did I say? Hundlestone. Oh, That's sorry, Brinchander. We're going to Hundlestone. We're in Brinchander. We got some jobs. I ended up making beer. She stood in the window for a little while. Uh, Alex took his woodsman to the woods and killed shit. And What the fuck? Did you, you read a book. That's all you ever do. <laughs> Just read a book. Yeah, I read a book. Matt read a book the whole time. Um, but during this whole process, they were kind of vetting us to make sure that we could hang out with the guy we were supposed to meet because he's a little bit of a train wreck and I think they wanted to protect him from us maybe a little bit. And so we finally met him and he was like in this weird temple of Torm. He is not a Tormite. He's a weenie. The giants came. He about pissed himself. Uh, you know, our giant blue person tried to kneecap him a few times. Wasn't successful, strangely, in slowing him down. We got to, uh... <laughs> We got to the wall. Down. They slowed him down. Whatever. We got to the wall. The Giants wanted the ring. I gave him the ring after I walked out there because I didn't really want to give him the ring, but it looked like the best way out for everybody. <clears throat> and then I had this great idea that I was going to fight a giant. So I challenged one of the Giants to single combat, and it soundly beat the living fuck out of me, uh, which was kind of fun in a mm -hmm. weird way masochistically <laughs> yeah right <laughs> ryan got his kicks out after i beat his door for a while um last campaign Crazy. yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> i was wearing pants at the time <laughs> not, time. not according now, to me no so uh so you know we got past the giant thing and now we're leaving to go to hundlestone and i think we're bringing belladora with us yeah, she decided to come along if you'd allow her. Huh. That's that's a better recap. There's a little more detail in it. It was more than just like giants, Carmen dead, done, Hundlestone. A little bit more. Let's see. Thank you. You're also a deputy 
Or no, we're all deputies. We're all deputies. Yeah, yeah we got deputized because I let him beat the shit out of me. Deputy Theodore. After you saved the city of Bryn Shander, for one, you were deputized. Yep. And you have about four or five different quests now. Yep. Different places to go, things to do. One Going of to Mirror Bar, in my mind. Hunnestone, then Mirror Bar, or Bust. Silvery Moon. We could also go. Sure. I mean, you don't thing. care about the sword. But no. some people care about it. I just sword. want to go to Mirror Bar to get better armor. It's a sword of giant slaying. Oh, man, you remember that one specifically. Armor, Mirror Bar, go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, we, got, we need to get that sword for our big friend over there. The Barbarian. <clears throat> He'd probably enjoy a big wizard staff of giant slaying. It's a, With yeah. a pointy end and a hilt. Pointy, pointy <laughs> ended when wizard staff sharpened it. <laughs> you can call whatever you want. He's like, I have a big enough stick. I do not need another. That would be really sad. <laughs> yep, I'd be like, need another. <laughs> throw it into the ocean. <laughs> I can't use it, so. Yeah, so you picked up a few quests, and they all kind of uh, converge on this eastern path. You're going to have to go around the Clouthan Vale. Which have to is, is a strong phrase. You're going to all want to go around the mm-hmm. Clouthan Vale because you have not been warned once but twice about the dragon that resides in that region, the old Snarl. Have we determined if those cultists that we were seeing were like part of the cult of the dragon or anything like that? We just um, don't know. Anything. Yeah, you did determine that, but you also were able to reaffirm it with the book right. that you have. Right. Which talks about the Clouth and Vale and sure. it even goes into a little bit of depth about the followers. Perfect. Someone's a little bit of a bibliophile. Yeah. So you have a little bit of knowledge. I don't think you have history though, so I think I would know about the Cult of the Dragon being a Harper though. Well, you're a very fresh Harper. Yeah. Very novice Harper. Yeah. You don't even know your contacts are. I don't. Who are you supposed to meet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> well, he wasn't supposed to meet anyone. Anyway. But you mean, he doesn't know who he got the quest from. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we picked up a, a random um, name somewhere and just went with that. You knew. You just forgot. Yeah, Josh made it up. Now I can't remember. John Quincy Adams. It was not. John <laughs> Quincy Adams. That's right. For what? For who his contact that gave him the quest of the Harpers is. I don't hmm. remember it's anymore. like Chibi. Um, I noticed that there was a couple of times I wrote people's names down in my notes and literally nothing by them. So I'm like... I love when that happens. Why do I have this name in my notes? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. That's what happens um, when you're an expert note taker. Is that the one hunting the... No. <laughs> Sir Beric Nidalef is hunting the weevil. We could do that Between one Luskin and Mirabar. <laughs> Good luck to him. I don't give a fuck about the weevil. Didn't he give you a quest? Yeah, yeah. find the weevil. Find the weevil. No, he and gave you a different quest. He's... He wants us to go to Mirabar to get armored up. He was oh, like, his quest. Yeah. go here and talk that to this guy. That was another... It'll be cool. That one's on the way. He didn't actually Mirabar. tell you to find the weevil. He said that the trail ran dry and he was... He's yeah, done, no. basically. He's yeah. doing it. Yeah. He's not doing it. He, he decided to get the fuck out of Dodge. He hates the North. Yeah, Giants showed up and he was like, nope. <laughs> so he left. Sweet. Well, let me um change the music up a little. And you guys are getting ready to just head on out. <laughs> Did you yeah. guys already sell off like the 21 javelins and 12 great axes? And yeah, I did. Yeah. Yep, I sold the shit off. Good. That was the first thing you did. Yep, I got down I was like, cash it in. Ching, ching. Oh. And he was like, these are damaged and chips. We, sh- we should stop by our scarecrow cave on the way back. I mean, I guess we have to, but... Yeah, it's a perfectly good stop spot. It was off the beaten trail a little bit. Oh, no, let's not. Okay. Let's just keep going. Uh, it's going to be Show sneaky. it to Beldora. Yeah, right? Look what we did. <laughs> <laughs> She's Get like, oh. Wait, is, it, is it Beldora or is it Belladonna? It's, or is it's Beldora. 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 Yeah. Okay. I started remembering it by Dora the Explorer. Nice. Uh-huh. And then I remember there's a bell before, so Beldora. Yeah, oh, okay. she has a she has a rope in her backpack. <laughs> yep. Just not like be, Dora. Not to be confused with Doria, who is the shy one who sold the drums and the trumpet and 
Uh, oh, all that stuff. I forgot her name. Two, when you said Bree, I thought it was a planned diarrhea. I was like, bananas are <laughs> Not bad. to be confused with <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> I was like, diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah. Diarrhea. Or Daria. Now I'm thinking about Beavis and Butthead. Mm. <laughs> Shut up, Beavis. I love Beavis guys. <laughs> TV and punk hall. <laughs> <laughs> classic. Oh, man. It is classic. I wonder how many people watching this don't really know what we're talking about. Hmm. Every single one of them do. <laughs> Everybody knows Beavis and Bob. No, dude. That is not true. Dude, no. You, you are old. It. Yes. Welcome to being old. <laughs> we are no longer contextually relevant, bro. Like you think you are. Oh, they don't know their shit. That's you? the worst part, right? You're like, yeah, mm-hmm. I remember I was I was sitting in a group talking to the group about something and I made an analogy using Voltron. I was like, yeah, you know, they, like they come together and their whole is better than their parts combined because they like make this awesome thing. And one of the kids was like, Who's Voltron? Another kid looked up his phone and he was like, Voltron. Oh, and I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. One of the guys was like, it's like Power Rangers. I was like, no, shut the fuck up. It is not like Power Rangers. <laughs> They're still contextually relevant. <laughs> right. <laughs> I remember going back and I looking swear. at an episode of Power Rangers and like there was a birthday cake and the villain stole the birthday cake. And then the Power Rangers got and went after the villain. So here's the thing. <laughs> this is the second time we've brought Power Rangers into our conversations this morning. <laughs> here's the thing. What I, I learned, because when I was I was like first getting sober, you know, and I was kind of coming out of the fog, and I thought, oh, man, you know, Transformers movie was the shit back in the day, and mm-hmm. someone had a copy of it, and I watched it, and it was like taking a big, hot, steamy deuce in my childhood mm-hmm. because it sucked so bad, and all I could think was, man... How did I ever like this, even at, like, six? This is horrible. So, what I learned that day is never go back and watch your childhood movies, ever. <laughs> oh, I'm re-watching He-Man. My yeah. childhood movie I can was tell Braveheart. It's I'll horrible, but I'll watch it. Braveheart's pretty good. And, in fact, some movies will still stand the test of time, right? Like, some of the childhood movies will be okay. The Labyrinth is still good. Except David Bowie's weirder now than he was it's when I was a kid. Decent. Really? <laughs> It's not very good. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. decent. You are, dense, I, baby, I, dense. I have less tolerance. I have even less tolerance for the things that used to be okay. Right. Like, you go back and watch. Here here comes the sacrilege. I wish you guys could downvote me. The Goonies, Never Ending Story. Oh. They're shit movies. Oh, no. Those are two <laughs> different. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. I'll Whoa. give you Goonies. Whoa. I will give you Goonies. Whoa. I'll give you Never Ending Story. No, 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 Ryan. Whoa. Whoa. Never Ending Story still is good. We're about to fight over this. Shit. <laughs> yes, yes. That's story why I said it. <laughs> and then the cops were called. That's Come why on. I said it. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was the good cops or the bad cops. Five men with no oh. pants arrested. <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh. Anyways, I still cry over the horse. Sorry. Oh, Artex. Yeah, dude, that was the no, worst. No, Artex. No, there's like the sad music he's singing. Buggy's he's like, you have to fight, and he's like, oh, Artex, please. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> All right. That was a good segue. Now that we got that out of our system <laughs> into the game, it has nothing to do with it, actually. <laughs> I think you guys are just headed out of town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're just leaving. Yep. I think I think we got on the horses, and, and then you said, "And we'll break there." You all packed up. You got everything together. Beldora with us. Beldora is with you. She has her own horse. Did you guys choose to get a horse for each person, or you still want to double up? No, we're getting a horse for each person. Oh. Mm-hmm. I figured it's obviously a better move. Probably a better move, especially when they start dying. Because yep. we know your guys' history of horses. I want either a giant horse or a little pony. No, you oh need like God. a Clydesdale, do you? Like yeah, a they give you a horse that so you're not going to break its okay. back. I have the pony. You have uh, <laughs> somewhat like a war horse, something yeah. that's made to bear people with full plate armor. Uh, a reshadium. That reminds me in The Hobbit and all the dwarves. They were you like, wish. Where are the <laughs> like, why it's not intelligent. Oh, right, ponies. <laughs> yeah, ponies, yeah. <laughs> And you guys head out of Bryn Shander, taking the uh, southwestern exit, because that is 
on the 10 roads, the 10 trail going down to Hundlestone. And again, if you have OneNote, it is, uh, there is a map in your OneNote of everything around. And the 10 towns, Hundlestone is included in that. The 10 towns, Ironmaster, Fireshear, Mirabar. What else? Oh, yeah, we get the red carpet treatment, too, because we can just be like, we're deputies, motherfucker, and they let us in, and we're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did we get, uh, like, a sheriff star? No, but you have papers that... That's not as cool. Officially we, deputies. We are like, you. we're deputies. I fold mine into an origami right. star. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Give me and a then craft it rains. <laughs> it's like you're not a deputy anymore. Nope. You rip yours in half. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you're like... Origami style. <laughs> Good enough. Yeah, right. It's a 3D star. <laughs> you just That's what up. stars really yeah. look like. Burning yeah, balls of gas. Stars, stars yeah. are orbs. <laughs> right. Duh. Jeez, guys. How did you not know that? <clears throat> Do we have coffee? It's out in the car. I have coffee. Oh, man. You can go get some. It's on the counter. Yeah, I'm going to go get it right now. Wow, go, dude. Go. Like that amount of thought. <laughs> it took Just him a while. Well, to think I, about. I mean, we haven't really started yet. Wait, wait, wait. So bring your cup. He's going to bring the craft, and I'm sure. There is no craft. craft. It's not in the craft. It's in the mm, pot. It's in the pot. Oh, my God. What's going on? I didn't wash the carafe, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. You there you go. Get your cup. How long did it take you to think about that? Yeah, if you just want that? to top me off here. Yeah, yeah. Drink, 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 drink. Chug, chug, chug. Coffee is chug. so important mm. <laughs> for us right now. Okay. I will say the coffee today is not as good as you normally make it. I think I've cared less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you don't drink it. So yeah, you're like fuck coffee. Is like, it not strong enough? I put a little less uh, grounds in. I think that might be what it is. It's weird because the actual flavor. I have no problem with it. Different. Usually, I feel like I'm licking mud out of my cup. This is all right. This is kind of where I want coffee to be. Mm-hmm. I'm I'll just saying keep the, making the it flavor this way itself because it takes less. <laughs> <laughs> It lasts longer. It's like flavor schmaver. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I'm going to wean you guys off of it by reducing it from coffee to tea. To decaf. To, to decaf. Oh. To, to water. Little did you know I've been serving you decaf all along. <laughs> oh, no. Like, chaos just for chaos. Up. We really That's are good. Good. Right. Right there. <laughs> That is. Oh, man. What if I was serving you decaf and you just didn't know it? I mean, you probably wouldn't have figured it out. Placebically, I'm sure that it would still work. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, on some level, your body starts to warm up all the capacitors before the caffeine even hits because it's conditioned so it knows it's going to happen. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Plus, like, like the social interaction and the smoking. game we're enjoying. Yep. All those pieces in your brain are, and will kind putting, of bump you up to close to where you want to be. Dumping warm liquids in your guts, too, will wake you up. Like, some people just drink hot water. It's like how your mouth salivates before you get the food in your mouth. Yep. It's like... They did this awesome study with guys on exercise bikes where they made some of them like drink water while they were exercising, some of them drank Powerade, and then they had a group where they would just take the water and swish it in their mouth and spit it in a bucket, and the Powerade guys would do the same thing. They would take like the sports drink and spray it into their mouth and swish it around for a little while and spit it out, and functionally while you're taking the while you're having the bike ride, there's no functional difference between drinking the fluid and just swishing and spitting the fluid. Your body does the same stuff. It's afterwards during the recovery period that you're more dehydrated because you didn't actually drink anything. But while you're working out, your body's like, oh, there's fluid. It's about to be delivered. This is what happens when I have fluid, so it just does it. Hmm. It's pretty wild. Yeah. All right. Same thing I'm sure is true of coffee, and I don't know if your body necessarily knows the difference between decaf and not decaf until after it's processed it. Interesting. And your mind will never know because I've been serving the decaf. I don't think that's true. No. See? That smells like a lie all over <laughs> the place. I'm going to disbelieve you. <laughs> you can choose to disbelieve me. Yay, placebo. All right. Well, <laughs> notes for next week. Why did you stop caring about us? So I'm going to have to bring in a carafe of coffee. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> I don't have enough coffee for you, Matt. <laughs> I can make two no. pots. That's not enough. No one for has you. enough coffee for Matt. No. Uh, I think not even work when we had coffee. Is the one note map working for anybody else? Mine is showing Mine's up blank. Working. Oh, yeah, there we go. Coffee, it, just, I used to drink it took alcohol. a second to load. Hey, you got in. I used to drink alcohol like I drink coffee. All right. That was a lot. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> 
you all have your horses packed up, ready to go, and you're heading out the southern gate. As you're heading out, you do encounter Ogrek. Bright home. Is it Bright home? Yeah. Mm. I think so. I don't even know anymore. Quick, interrupt his monologue before he gets big <laughs> to talk. I wonder if I'm awake enough to speak in a horrible accent. You're always we'll waking find out. Speak in a horrible Sometimes accent. you just try. All right, here we go. You begin. Oh, man. It's so hard to oh, do. Rick. Are you How are you? Taking off now? I. Time must be leaving. <laughs> no, we ride horses for fun. You could be coming back. Nay, probably not. We're heading to Hundlestone. Well, give them my regards. Hi. Mm. It's been pleasant having everyone here. <gasps> Thank you much for all your back help. in this uh, area. We can share a fire brandy. That would be nice. So you have some to go. You have like a little second kegger strapped to your back. You don't have two kegs? What are you gonna do? Uh, I don't have a. I don't have two flask. kegs. I have, have I have one keg oh, and I have a flask. large flask. Right. Yeah, which I'm probably sipping from while he, while he comes up. Safe travels. Thank oh, you be safe too. Thank Mine. you for what you did, everyone. You saved our town. At least we could do. If you're stopping by, there's a city up there, northeast of us, one of the ten towns. If you're heading over there, in Ironmaster. Very good. What now? <laughs> I don't even know the name of the city. Mm. Oh, it is Ironmaster. Town of Ironmaster? It is the town of Ironmaster. If you're heading that way... It'd be wonderful if you could send us some reinforcements, just in case. Just in case they come back. Now, aren't we heading the other direction? Well, yeah, we're, we're going south. Well, we're going west. south, and, and um, I, I, I do feel a, a little bit responsible, um, or we all should, uh, for, for giving that giant the, the ring. I do have fears that the, the giants will not... Um, S stay away from uh, Bryn Shander. What do you think that they want in Bryn Shander? Because everything I've seen, the Nightstone, the Ring, the Giants want things and they take them. Aye. So if there's nothing in the town, I think the town is pretty safe. Was this your first encounter with these Giants? Oh, this was our first encounter, y'all. Yeah. Hmm. It's just an afterthought. thought maybe if you're heading that way. Right now we'll be heading south. I have a, a bright home clan in that direction. I didn't think we'll end up there, but if we do, we'll look them up and we'll send help this way. I think we're heading to Mirbar and then on to Silver Moon. It's just as well. They only let doors in the city. Mayhap we should go there. These fine folk will not be allowed in. We can see if they try to keep out Domiceto. I will not be going there. <laughs> it's just as well. I believe well, I could again. probably pass to get in there. Safe travels. Many <sighs> fine things, woodsman, but a dwarf not be one of them. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. If you say, I keep a few dwarves up my sleeve. A, a, a few, few what? Dwarves. <laughs> dwarves. You have dwarves up your sleeve? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You uh, don't even have sleeves. You're pay, pay him no I mind. know, and I don't have dwarves either. Pay him no mind. <laughs> he gives you a hearty chuckle as you guys uh, make your way out of the city. Back onto the ten trails. Headed down to Hundlestone. It's a three-day journey, unless you wanted to really pick up the pace. I think we're right on time. Actually, technically, so. it's faster because of you. Oh, yeah. Because you have a ranger who is attuned to the tundra. How much faster is that? I forget. You ignore difficult terrain, right? Yep. So it's a day and a half journey for you guys. Maybe we can push through. Be there in a day. In change. 
the thing you want to do is in within a week, so I don't believe we need to pick up the pace. There's no need to ex- exhaust ourselves. Or in the horses. All right, point. Speaking of which, you guys did prepare new spells, right? Everyone mm. got their long rest. Well, that was spell slots time. refreshed. <laughs> Since we, I have... Sp- yeah, I've grabbed your travel spells. Oh, you do not. But you have had a short rest since then, Josh. Oh, well, I'm in short rest then, because I'm feeling... The only thing I was down is a good very thing from giving him the... Short rest. And he's down um, a couple spells, and at one point a lot of hit points. All of them. Yeah, I don't know if you ate all the good berries. I assume you would. Okay, so I gotta roll... Ah, what the shit? 2d8. Nah, I got 10. That's not the worst. No, it's not bad. Same amount as I got got from the good berries. I got a 1 and a 3 on my dice, but I get plus 3 for each one. So I am at 44 out of 48. It's not horrible. So you must have dropped a cure on yourself. He had some good berries. I didn't drop a cure. I dropped my channel divinity because it resets, resets on a short rest. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Resets. Resets. Uh, what else did I do? Resets the bed. Right. Mm. And you guys head southwest through the uh, mountain pass up towards Hundlestone. You're only in the... Um, you're in a very large valley. The mountains are miles off. And they're not the large peaks of the uh, Icewind Dale region. These are some of the uh, smaller mountain, mountainous areas. In the early morning. And unless you guys want to do anything, you have a long day of travel. Did you want to push yourself? Uh, these guys said no, so... So a long day of travel before you have to camp. Um, what do we do? There is a uh, camping area close by <laughs> <laughs> where you've been before. Oh, sweet home! You actually don't even know. I mean, you know it's probably around here, but not where it's at. Oh, fair enough. Because it was off the uh, trail. I so, probably pointed out because I oh, great, right. probably have an idea. Way to go. They're like, yeah, we're getting close to the previous <laughs> campsite. Mm. Worked so well last time. <laughs> it did. It was the best locale mm-hmm. off the path to keep you sheltered from the hazards of the environment. Mm-hmm. If a blizzard rolls in, go ahead and roll me your survival. Oh. <laughs> in the banana book. Oh. Survival would be a 11. 11. So judging by the weather you've had lately, looking over the sky, you're pretty sure there's nothing going to be happening today. No snow, no storms. You have no idea for the rest of the uh, week. I'm only spending the night, so it'll be fine. Will we make it to Hundlestone before nightfall? I mean, if we want to, or not before nightfall now. Then we must rest somewhere, right? Yes. Beldora, you yes. should see our wonderful cave. Oh. It is dry. It is well protected. It is. I, I do this. I'm like. I mean, it stinks of rotten flesh. It is stink of rotten flesh. <laughs> I feel like I spend most of the time behind Tom doing this during conversations <laughs> he's having with people. <laughs> You'd like me to go ahead and clean it up a bit first. I <laughs> uh, may have a good idea. Wait, are we, we stopping? Need a cave. Are we stopping at our house? Oh, excuse me. Excuse Wait. Hmm? It's not a house. It is. Nay. It is. <laughs> this this is Thomas trying to copy your accent in game. There's layers of bad so, America. So 
Nay, it's not a house. <laughs> it's a hole in the ground. And that's coming from me. My people live in holes in the ground. It's not even a good one. Oh, don't be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> She keeps riding past. Yeah, I'm sure. While well, you guys are chatting, she trots up further along. This probably just happens like all the time, all day. Yeah, this is all. all we, this is all we talk about. <sighs> uh, but Mr. Thomas does have a point. Uh, maybe uh, we do know of this location, and we were able to hold ourselves there. So um, maybe we do go and clear out the um, scarecrows that he has. Uh, uh, set up. Mm. And with any uh, perhaps we can have new scarecrows. <laughs> whatever. It would be well, fuck it. I, I. Pardon. I said whatever. Fuck it. Sure. Why not? A cave. Listen. I just mean. Okay. I didn't care where we go. Consent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by mortared and fiery anvil, how the fuck did I end up with you three? <laughs> well, see, uh, it'll be... Hey, shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean for you to answer me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's rhetorical. Yes. Maybe you can go ahead and um, clear out uh, the scarecrows uh, before our friend Beldora has to smell the stench of the rotting corpses. Uh, and, Split the party. That's a great idea. We can cover more ground this way. It would be perfect. You. Coward, you small one, you stay here with the woman. Oh, well, we won't be too far behind <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I didn't think this is a good idea. <laughs> the damage dealers, let's go. <laughs> I think we should stay together. Come, you will see Scarecrow. Uh, uh, Mr. Theodore, how far are we away from the cave? Uh, you're a few 400 hours yards. Oh, a few <laughs> hours out before it's few completely hours dark. Okay. Wait, a few hours from the cave? Oh. It'll be about dark when we reach the cave then. I well, might as well stop there, I guess. Works for me. I work better in the dark anyway. Crazy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was like, no, just let it go. <laughs> Bill Dora raises her eyebrow. <laughs> he too is a diddler. <laughs> a lad is a wizard when you can't see him. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> All right, you guys head to the cave that you stayed at beforehand. And did you go ahead and clean it up ahead of the party or no? no. I'd say I would. He you, trots you can... off for a while. You split the party. <laughs> you split the party. Eh, I'm invisible and it's How... dark, so... If I trust anybody by themselves, it's him. So he leaves you guys alone for about a half an hour before he comes back and gets you and uh, takes you over to that same cave. You did clean it up. Mm -hmm. um, what'd you do with the bodies? There's nine orc bodies that Thomas spiked like a scarecrow and I was, stuck in the ground. I was going to say that I would uh, bury them, but... You're going to bury them. The ground is frozen. Yeah. That... Could, uh, find some deep snow and half bury them. <laughs> Give them a snow carry. Snow burial. <laughs> uh, I'd probably pull them a fair distance away from the cave entrance and... Just kind of throw them in a brush pile kind of thing. Okay. That mm. It'll actually take taxing. about an hour. <laughs> yeah. So when the wargs come to find the bodies, hopefully they don't find the cave. Or your predators are going to eat. They're going to not come to the cave entrance, though. I don't Good know if idea. they want to eat this um, crispy, completely burnt 
flesh and bones. It's now rotting too. Hmm. May have a carrion crawler or some other beastie. Yeah. Nature is a natural recycler. Right. He comes back to him. He's got uh, a lot of filth on the front of his armor and whatever clothes you're wearing to keep you warm. Any of your furs, they're kind of charred in some parts just from the flaking charcoal of these creatures' bodies that's managed to get off everywhere onto you. Oh, I probably tied a rope around him and drug him. <laughs> you still have to get him off the spikes. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of manual labor. Trying to what minimize. do you do with the stinky spikes? Is there a lot of slaw left on the spikes? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I slid them <laughs> over the work. post from slaw. butthole to brain. The spikes are covered in slaw. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it creates tension for him to deal with. <laughs> slaw. I'll say I pr probably did not take care of the spikes. I just so got nine the body. spikes stuck in the ground. Actually, they're all Covered tipped over. In slime. Yeah. Orc. That's all right. When you have to remove orc from them, you pull a lot of that slaw off. Man, I would have just cut and chopped down this thing and just left them alone. Hmm. Drag them too. But I wasn't there. Not allowed to be. <laughs> Sometimes you're not allowed True. for a good reason. <laughs> I, <laughs> if you find more orcs, you can re reuse the spikes. I bet I can find the same orcs. Leave the be. For the love of Morgan, leave it be. Okay. And you all get to the cave. Beldora, she sets up her bedroll in the back of the cave. And she actually has a little bit of a, a small pop tent that she constructs. Throws her bedroll in there. So how long to Hundlestone? Um, what would I think? Another six hours, or yeah, something like that. Okay, six hours. It's such a weird conversation in and out of game. <laughs> I explain well, I'm gonna get some good rest so then. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions that you prepared? Um, well, I just uh. <clears throat> Uh, not particularly. Uh, Everything all right there? I. It's fine. Are you sure? I am sure. <laughs> I haven't seen someone put their head in their hand like that for quite a time. I do it often with these folk. Uh, even me, Mister um, Carmen. I especially you. I. <laughs> and why? Why is that? I just get up, <laughs> I go outside. I'll keep first watch. <laughs> I, t I take one long look at Artie over at Beldora. Perhaps we all take watch together, eh? <laughs> Very subtle. Sure. <laughs> they may need privacy. She just laughs at she, the uncomfortableness that it puts Art in. She needs to induce him, induct him into secret society. The diddlers. It's the Harpers, Mr. Thomas. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we can we can go while well she harps him. Yes. I hear sweet music. My, my face is getting really red. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, Teddy. He will burn down cave. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's going to have to slurp cold coffee out of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to spit it back. There's <laughs> <laughs> something refreshing about hanging out with a bunch of 30 and 40 something year old guys and feeling like you're 12 again. Yeah. <laughs> how'd the copy up the nose feel? Right. Oh, I was almost there. I mean, that's how you should take it anyway. Yeah. That'll wake you up. Oh, God. Hey. Freezing. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So, do you guys leave? Yeah, I'm outside the cave. Yeah. I fucking yeah. walked out. 
Yeah, yeah we know what's going right. on here. Like, <laughs> oh, it's time to go. <laughs> there, there was a reason we actively left the path to get a room. I, <laughs> I should have left you with the How fire brand. How should I make, man? <laughs> I uh, do it. down. Uh, this is better than combat. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the last time I did it? He ended up losing his bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah, he did. <laughs> step one, get the coffee down. Step two, go down on the girl. <laughs> no, 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 Alex. Wow. No, 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 no. I told you, Alex is spry this morning. <laughs> wow. There, there's just like some <laughs> giant level steps. <laughs> yeah. Step one, step two. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Hope you brought your climbing gear. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. She's got it. <laughs> okay, right. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's about to get weird. About to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make sure you never do this to me again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> the only way to win. All in, bro. All, All in. in. Make the no. other guy lose. <laughs> That's the only way to win. It's like one of those games of chicken and goal. I imagine Chicken-er Artie goal. saying that in game. <laughs> he just goes up to Beldor. I'm going to make sure you never do this to me again. <laughs> but you, you forgot the stutter. <laughs> no, nope, all, all of a sudden he's confident. Stutter. Dead serious. <laughs> the stutter drops. Everything changes. Okay. Oh lord. Uh, no. Have mercy, Morden. <laughs> Mr. Arthur's not like that. No, he's not. I don't think he even likes girls. I immediately. I mean, that's the reason he hangs out with the rest of us. <laughs> oh, God. A bunch Without of men pants. with no pants. <laughs> no, always no pants. Get your water ready. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hydrate. <laughs> Oh, that's too much. <laughs> too much. Well, they all leave the cave, leaving you two alone. You feel awkward. She just laughs about it. Anyways, do you have any questions that you have for Thwip? Well, I, I don't know if I necessarily need to ask Thwip any questions. Uh, maybe to uh, report to him so he can send a message to um, whoever's leading us. I... Still, um, don't know much about this organization. Uh, I was just uh, recently brought into it. Um, hence my hesitancy uh, speaking to you uh, last week. I understand. You're just a young watcher. Uh, yes, for now. Whip uh, knows a little bit about everything. And... Like this stone, she pulls out the little sending stone she has. He has many, and he contacts people throughout the, all of Pharaoh. So he might have a better grasp of what's going on. Even I didn't know everything you guys told me before you got to Bryn Shander. It's scary to think about what's going on, if it's going on everywhere. He said giants attack Nightstone, now giants attack Bryn Shander. Yes, I fear it was a mistake giving them the ring. You said that. I still believe it saved the city. The mistake or no, people are safe. And what sort of adventures have you been on since you've been a Harper? Well, I don't take adventures usually, I just watch. Listen and report. Have you not uh, had to uh, go into battle or? No, mm. not like not like you guys have described. Mm. Nothing like that. Mm. Well, I suppose maybe I'll try to learn more when Flip's around. He seems to be the guy to talk to. He is. You can come in now, she yells out there. It was rather quick. I figured it would be. <laughs> she just chuckles. 
We can hear everything out here. Valdora, please do not insinuate that we were um, in any way. Uh, I don't Roman. know what you're talking about. Yeah, Arthur didn't seem like he has much stamina. To it me smells either. like sex in here. No, that's just that's just rotting. <laughs> 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 Leave it to Stacy to pick out the Super Troopers <laughs> quote from the crowd. Oh, man, that was great. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. lot here. Have a nip. I pass you the flask. It's good for you. I, I, will not, I will not have... No, you will not force me to drink any uh, kind of alcohol or any substance. I'm putting my foot down right now. He prefers the other kind of nips. Uh, yeah. Mm. Don't we all? <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Theodore, please. <laughs> you know, I, I think I'm going to go outside and get some fresh air. <laughs> I step outside. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do I, uh, who, who is on much? No. I am a fresh watch. <laughs> I go outside. All right. <laughs> I trundle out. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I go back out. <laughs> Good luck with what? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> we could do this all night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyways, let's just pass it out. That's what she said? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and the night passes, unless you guys want to interact a little more with each other. Yeah, That's fine. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, I think we've mined that one. You'll all get a short rest. Yay. Day two into your long rest. So keep that in mind. And the sun comes up. Everything was uneventful, unlike last time. Yay. On your way to Humblestone. So, you guys pick up the trail, you get back and at him, and it only takes about, like he said, six hours to make your way towards Hundlestone, which is uh, one of the ten towns, and this one resides on one of the low sloping mountains. You can see it from the trail. It's a couple miles off the trail itself, and it's on the eastern side of the trail, near the Clouthan Vale, but nowhere close to actually being there. <laughs> And as you get closer to this town, you can see that a lot of the buildings, for for one thing, there's no wall around this town. It's completely exposed to the elements and to any threats like giants or orcs or bandits. And... Hey, poor planet. Yeah. It's one of those towns that you don't think should probably exist in this rough northern wilderness because... This place is known for just wandering orcs or other threats that can completely wipe people out. I took care of one of the threats earlier. You did. They should have hired some dwarves. Poor planning costs lives. Good architecture saves them. These are poor planners. However, as you get nearer, you can see a lot of the houses and huts and hovels are actually... More built into the dirt, built into the mountain, into the stone. And a lot of it is a dwarven architecture, dwarven stone buildings. And they're Poor cut into the rocks. Yeah. Cut into Maybe they the had a bit too much to drink. <laughs> I don't think that'd make them better builders. I don't know, I'm not a builder. I'm just a drinker. A lot of the roofs are pretty low and the doors are usually shorter than your average human, but they're perfectly sized for a dwarf. Aye, nice. Or gnomes. And that's where you're headed, is towards a Thwip. Oh, Thwippy a gnome. Thwip is a gnome. Thwip Ironbottom. That's right. Not even my name. (laughs) Ironbottom? That's his last name. (laughs) Jesus. What are these guys thinking? I don't know. That came straight out of the module, though. (laughs) Whoa. Mayhap you should do some talking to Twip. Oh God, man! <laughs> uh, he might be more your style. Oh Jesus! 
Um, before we get there, I'll kind of <laughs> hang back a little bit from the group and kind of single Beldora, uh, if I can get maybe his attention. Sure. So these guys are kind of like, I don't know. You I wait till whisper. they're. Well, I can tell he's distracted for the main part. Right. <laughs> yeah, what a blood. Um, but by chance, maybe it, it's probably time to clue him, clue the rest of our party in on uh, the harbors. You, you swore me to that. secrecy. Excuse me? You haven't done that? Um, <laughs> no. Um, I mean, I rustled it out of him. But mostly, Thomas thinks they're diddlers. Didn't know what he means by that, but it cannot be good. I, I, right. I, I trust. I, I trust the ranger. Um, however, um, I, I know Tom. Thomas would probably have uh, some problems with keeping secrets. Listen, being a harper is a, a good secret to keep. That way. People don't suspect you of listening in on what they talk about. People don't like that. For good reason. The Harpers itself is not an unknown organization. Most people know of the Harpers. They just don't know who is one. And that's the way we like to structure it. So clue him in. We're not diddlers. <laughs> I can't look her in the face. eye when she says this. <laughs> I'm like... Well, that that could that be good to clear up. I, I, I and we don't play the harp. <laughs> <laughs> she gives him a glare, even yes. though he doesn't understand what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He'll actually she's just be, looking at my back. <laughs> um, that's actually the reason why I didn't want to uh, clue him in. He seems so happy about the fact that I wanted to play an instrument. He's been wanting to start a band for some time now. <laughs> it's horrible, horrible playing in the, the horn. It's like. That someone is fighting your ears the whole time. I suppose I'll write up and apologize to them and clue them in. What? Don't apologize. What do you have to be sorry for? <laughs> well, it, this is to be his way. Because I was keeping some some information from them and and, and lying by cares? omission. I saw you put your foot down last night. Keep that up. It's a better look. I suppose in his about pheromones. Um, <laughs> so I'll write up. Uh, 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 Mr. Thomas, Mr. Theodore? What? Maybe don't call them Mr. Uh, it's it just makes a, you sound like you're five, lad. It's, it, well, it's just a sign of respect. What? <clears throat> come, come here for a minute. Aye, come here. Let me learn you some shit. I got this one. Are you sure? I am sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. We just, we've stopped... <laughs> Listen, no, it's an no, hey, no, keep going. It's all right. It's his mistake. I got it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Listen, lad, here's the thing. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. You show someone respect when they have a station above yours. But here we be all equals. Us and ye and her. And we're all just adventurers out. Um, out about and, you know, doing some adventuring and all that right. So we're the same. You don't call us Mr. Anything. You just call us by our name. We're your companions, not your babysitters. No, oh, I, I'm, uh, I'm uh, sorry if I offended, offended you. No, um, uh, listen, stop. In from a fire. And don't stutter anymore. You don't say sorry for shite. Okay, you don't say sorry. Sorry has to go away from your vocabulary. You don't say sorry for things anymore. You just say this is how it is. And uh, that's okay. Right, because you have an equal say in how things are. So it's not. I'm sorry if I offended you. It's okay, or I don't want to do that. Right? Like grow a pair of stones, lad. Uh, uh, well, I have not had very much social inter interaction. So hey, that's why I'm trying to talk to you about it now. You're good. You're a good, lad. You mean well, but you talk like someone whooped your ass for most of your young life. Yeah. Um... Is that what happened? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, no, I got this. I said, go on. It's all right. I have more stones than he does. Aye. You just wear them on your chest and they're bigger too. I got it. 
I seem to cause so much trouble. So I, I, no, well. listen, no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake, lad, shut your fucking hole. And listen, take whatever shite you have in your ears and put it in your face hole for a minute. You didn't apologize. Stop Crazy. apologizing. No, sorry. Just okay. Or nay. That be it. Uh, I, I suppose I'll stop apologizing when you start growing up. Growing larger. Getting taller is what I meant. <laughs> uh, that was not a very good joke. It was giving shit. Shit. So, if you weren't all my adventuring companion, I'd headbutt you in the crotch. But, since... <laughs> it wouldn't matter. There's no stones there. Well, I... But since we're adventuring companions, good on you for giving shit, lad. That's how you do it. Mm, I, yes, I suppose so. Uh, uh, Mr... Um, I, I, uh, Thomas uh, Theodore? Shit. <laughs> there you go. You'll be fine. <laughs> it takes some time to grow into them. Once there's hair on them, you'll be okay. <laughs> What is it, R3? Glass. Uh, sometimes it's a little late to hit puberty. You want a drink? She so takes your flask and... How much is it? Drains it. Drains Sorry. It. She's... Doesn't drain it. <laughs> She'll take a sip and hand it back. She looks at you. Uh, no, thank you. I did my best. And I'll kind of ride up past those guys, or to those the, the others... I want to hear this. She rides up right behind us. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Uh Yes. Um, uh, I, have, I have just uh, something to clue you in on. Um, uh, since we are going to be Thwip, who is also a harper. Um, Thwip does not play the harps. Wait. Uh, uh, what? Thwip? Thwip is also Don't a Don't let harper. him interrupt. <laughs> hey, go on, lad. Be forceful. Um, well, uh, it's just that. Uh, see, Do you smell like. <clears throat> don't let him in. Urine? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? No, I, the lad's got something to say. Shut the fuck up for a minute, Tom. Uh, it, see, uh, the, um, it, Tom's. Uh, the Harpers uh, are. They don't play harps. Well, some of them might. It's just. Uh, we're actually. Um, an organization uh, that groups together to um, uh, fight injustice and bring peace to the lands. And um, we're, we were secret, so I didn't want to tell you right away because um, uh, I don't don't want your big mouth blurt, um, blurting um, everything about my organization uh, all over and blowing my cover. I'm proud of you for not interrupting in the middle of that. I am proud of you both. Good job, the two of you. Are you finished, small mage? Uh, yes, I just want you um, to be... I just want to ask you if you could just please not mention that we are Harpers anywhere around. You are not Harpers! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you play no music. That's what he's saying. It's a secret society. It's their code name. I do not know why you lied to me about this thing. Yes, I. That's why I wanted to apologize to you. See, this is what I. No, I. No. 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 <laughs> Foul, son. You're fouling right now. Foul. Well, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. So why are you still with us if you do not want to play in my music band? I would say chicken would be the particular type of foul. No. No. <laughs> foul. Like he, he fouled to do it right. No. Oh, fail, not foul. That's what I said. Oh. I foul. He said foul. I thought I heard hey. foul as well. I said. You do not fail. know what you're talking about. Foul. When we get to Hundlestone, oh. I will buy you a right. harp, and you will be Fail. real well, See, uh, Mr. Not used to the southern accent. Mr. Of Thomas, I am already a real harper. See, I have this. Uh, pen and I kind of. It looks fake. Also, you never play music. I, that's because I am not a musician. Uh, harpers are not music. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Harpers are not musicians. However, um, it smells they are like a lie. Nay, this part what be true. Lies smell like. 
Shite. Like harpers who do not harp. Uh, you see, it's Bella, just a name. Uh, Bella, Get over it. Belladora is a, a Belladora, harper. please. <laughs> I apologize. I'm so Don't sorry. No, 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 no. Apologize. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's just that um, she is a harper, and uh, is we tend to keep, like to keep our um, society uh, or uh, a group um, uh, or order um, a secret. That's how we work. But you do not play music. Uh, some do, I suppose. Then Don't what, confuse the what situation. What do you do? What he do you do? is part of the Order of the Gauntlet. Just like them, we try to protect the lands around us. Aye, but they do it through secrecy and hidden shite. Hmm. The organization. Do it information. Aye, hidden secret information. The Not organization. everyone in our organization fights. Many of them can't fight. But the Maybe information they gather and bring and distribute accordingly can save many lives. It does. Secret information and secret distribution. The organization itself isn't a secret, but rather the members are secrets to keep them hidden. I just got an inspiration. And they're placed throughout every hierarchy. Kings don't know who Harpers are. And that's for a reason. Because they have some members that can listen in on even Do you the, all wear pin? On the conversations of <laughs> all the hot I had this thought too. <laughs> we don't generally wear it like that. Artie be bad at it. <laughs> he needs help learn how to keep secrets. First, take off pin. I, you are not Harper. <laughs> or hide it better. She... Goes over and kind of folds some of the cloth over the pin that you have it pinned to, so it's not showing. Hey, that'd be better. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. So, uh, anyway, I suppose this conversation leads us to this. Um, I've already asked Mr. Carmen. Sorry, I've already asked Carmen um, if he would join me and uh, the escapades and finding what is going on with these giants, um, and. And uh, I would also like to ask you, uh, Thomas and Theodore, if you would, uh, since being of such great talent, if you would join us. Are you guys not already together? Well, I suppose we are, but we don't have anything. Uh, well, they don't know the cause of why we're traveling. I suppose they're just traveling blindly. Nay, hey, we'd be traveling together because we're a party of adventurers. Don't you guys have a destination in mind? Mirabar, Silvery Moon, I've heard. Aye. Together, right? Aye. That You're looking at the bigger goal. Yes. Art be still young. He did not understand the bonds of friendship yet. We'll teach him. Yes, I, have, I have, uh, haven't had many friends, so... What is it you like me to join? The Harpers? Well, I can't actually invite you to be a harper. You wouldn't be a good harper. Too much secrecy and shite. I wouldn't like it either. That's why I'm a member of the Order. It might be more your style. I can invite you to come to the Order if you want when we get to Mirabar. Bah. I see no value in that. That's fine. I've been offended by it. So you also the Lord's Alliance. They, much like the Order of the, Gaunt Order of the Gauntlet, uh, band together to fight injustice, if that's something you're interested in. Or you can just travel with us and uh, give us the, ple the dubious pleasure of your company. You can distribute road justice wherever you like. Aye. <clears throat> Let me be the way. Hmm. I do not understand. What make? What do you mean by join you then? It when you means, invite me? Well, I, I, I suppose I, I will need your help. <laughs> I can teach you to block. Yes. Uh, yes, you can teach me. To <laughs> 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 I was, that was like, no, no, I'm starting shaking my head. For me. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you start talking? Then? <laughs> you should have dodged. <laughs> no kidding. Take the dodge action. Uh, roll a hit. 
Are you recklessly attacking? Yes, yes, yes. Roll to hit, Brian. Just regularly. <laughs> uh, Do you beat a 12 AC? <laughs> oh, man. I yes. Think, I think so. Are you proficient? Uh, With your fist? Yeah. With my fist? Uh, I do, you it, get two plus your strength. God damn this. Skills, equipment. It's one plus strength. Action, actions. actions. So two plus my strength mod. Let's tell it was one plus your strength mod. It's two. Uh, Proficiency is two. Proficiency oh, is two. Need to hit right, right. So six, twelve, thirteen. Punches you square in the nose for I mean, four damage. Can you give me a, one moment here? What was the die roll? Seven. <laughs> Which is why I had to actually go, go do the math and mm. figure out. Wait, you didn't roll a natural twenty? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. Yeah. Double the dice. I'll yeah, take but it. But you don't roll. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, you take it again. This time you actually manage to turn your face away slightly before he bludgeons your nose again. It's already been set once, and he <laughs> biffs you right in the cheek. It it stings quite badly. Did you roll damage? Yeah. Why did you not block? <laughs> Four damage. Four yeah. damage. Why did you not block? Uh, I, I, I suppose I did not see that. Uh, coming again. It will happen again in one minute. Nay, that we off. Leave the lad be. Uh, Thomas, please. Uh, I, 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 this His is skills not... aren't <clears throat> fighting physically, but I bet that he can outperform you magically. Oh, shite. I get you the free, free pass because you are not one of us and you are a diddler. <laughs> Oh, Lord, more than enough mercy. I'd be willing to wager on it. Oh, shite. Oh. Now, Balladora, we do not need to start a competition at this time. We are about to meet with Grow Flip. Grow a pair. I don't want to compete with Thomas. Why? I don't want to hurt his feelings. He is afraid of the greatest magician Thomas, of please, Red Rocks. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Like I will hurt your face in 24 seconds. <laughs> I'm, Thomas, lad, you no, better we dodge, lad. Well, we do not need to do this right now. Uh, there is a time and place for uh, practicing strategy and working when, when 24 on our seconds skills. is up, I'm counting. I'm just going to push him up the horse so he misses. I mean, worse than he gets trampled by a horse. Maybe I'll just grab his head and pull it down Why really quick under the horse. In front of <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Whatever. I'm just going to be. I'll try You're to get right in away. between them. And... Yeah. <clears throat> You could just hold your action. Okay, I'll do that. To when Thomas makes an action. <laughs> Something to get in the way. Well. It's a black what do you guy. say? <laughs> wizard duel? I think we should have a wizard duel. Oh, no. That's a bad idea. Uh, no, I don't think a duel is necessary right now. Are you scared? Uh... I am afraid of hurting his feelings. I didn't want to use all my spell slots on healing these two monkeys before we get to town. I promise you, no one will get injured. Punch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I held my action for this moment. <laughs> uh, he gets a shield in the way, so he gets a plus two AC. <sighs> oh, was it a 20? One. Nice. Inspiration. <laughs> oh my god, really? 17. Oh yeah, he decks me. 17 plus 6. 23. I sub hitting the lad. Listen, he was hit enough. Uh, four more damage. <laughs> Maybe that's sick. Leave him alone. Are you sure you don't want to hurt his feelings now? She says, as now your nose is dripping with blood. In fact, he didn't even punch you. He punched the shield straight into your face. <laughs> sorry. I'm waiting for you to put it up. Just rocked the whole thing. <laughs> like, oh, sorry. I was trying to help. <laughs> He's got a cut right under the under nape of his nose. <laughs> oh, that looks Mr. like a stain. Thomas, I am warning you. Please. Uh, no. This, there is no time. Um, hey, lad. 
No, please. Now no, you're going to do it. <laughs> I am starting to get frustrated now. Ah, and I, 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 we do not need to. You know what we need start... before a good wizard duel? A drink. A drink. I hop I off the horse. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I, I hop I off the keg off my back. <laughs> oh, right, I lead the horses away. <laughs> Mr. Theodore, can you please tell these <laughs> our friends um, that we do not need to be doing this right now? We are wasting Lad, time. Sometimes. When you're one of your no, friends, Carmen, is a little bit of a bully. no, we are going forward and we are going to thwips right now. Sometimes you can tell people something, but they just don't listen. You got to make them see, lad. Well, make them see what? That you're just you're as much a man as him. I fuck him up, son. No, uh, Mr. Thomas is uh, respecting me. He's are you just sure doesn't... he calls you Artie? He's not respecting <laughs> Artie. He's, he's punched you in the face twice. He's, there's a third time. He's oh, fucking with you. Three just, times? Uh, there was one other time today. before. It's just his culture. Uh, and he just doesn't understand yet. He understands force. He hasn't punched him? You got it. No, he didn't punch me. That's Did he true. punch Theodore? No. So you got to learn him some shit, lad. Well, he's just trying to Get in there and fuck and, him up. And, and it's, um... You're justifying being punched in the face. I like a beaten wife. Now everybody just... <laughs> Everybody just calm down right now. Get in there and kick his ass. I am not going to go get it. I'm, I'm not going to take my his wizard ass. staff and I draw the line in the Son, dirt. This is one of those moments in life that you will look back on and say, was I a pussy or was I a man? So be a man. I, <laughs> take four damage. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lad. Go Should on. Should we set some ground rules for this wizard duel? Aye. No one dies. No physical contact. I, you cannot hit him. You only can use your magic. Only magic abilities. Magic. Perhaps it should be done at ten paces then. Eh, some spells you have to get close and slap them. Here's the thing: he doesn't know the difference between. <laughs> I think magic. my staff is magic. <laughs> yeah. You cannot strike each other. With, no physical contact. With fist, or with weapon. Only your magic. That's why I'm thinking it would be good to do at 10 paces, only you use range. But some spells, you gotta get close and tickle them. But a good wizard can Wouldn't operate that. at range or in close combat. I, I don't know. She uh, gets off her horse and draws a line, and then she walks 10 paces away and draws another line. Arthur. You would stand here. Thomas, you would stand over there behind that line. No crossing the lines. No physical contact. Duel starts in what? One minute? Are you sure? Why Come on, not? Arthur. I, I don't Get off your horse. Is... I, I, uh... Don't be a bitch, lad. <laughs> Fine. Arthur uh, no. slowly dismounts from his horse. I'll lead your horse away so it doesn't get caught in the crossfire. I suggest maybe you take all the horses away. I, I take all the horses away. I, Thomas, I do not want to do this right now. No killing. But I'll be standing by. Just in case. <laughs> 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 I've got to take her to bail. I'm like... No outside help. No physical contact. No nuking the bystanders. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Anything else that we missed? No cheating. <laughs> Listen, what? what is it really all about <laughs> cheating? Gonna, you're only going to hurt his confidence, and I, I don't think this is the, the right way to do it. Arthur, shut up. Yes. I, yes. Be grateful. They already wish me to wizard duel you with both my hands tied behind my back. If you cannot beat me, Infinite shame will be upon you and your family. But I, I suppose maybe. <laughs> I'm uh, my hands <laughs> my drink. Maybe like, we yes. do this with. The, w w you can have your hands uh, free if you wish, Thomas. Well, then he's going to beat you with the restrictions. He's going to beat you with the staff, son. About the head and shoulders, like a mad donkey. That would be cheating. No physical contact. I think that Art's saying he's okay with it. You're yeah. okay getting your. Ask me. Um, it won't happen. He says he's okay with it. Hi, son. 
Way to mine up. That's not really a magic duel anymore, but I'm really interested in seeing. Oh, shite! I run. And it starts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still be like, let's go. <laughs> uh, roll your initiatives. I'll roll in just in case I have to heal somebody. There we go. I'm like oh, 70 feet away. I'm slow. <laughs> 20. Uh, you win. Five. Bill <laughs> Doris sees Seven. you starting to cast a spell. You see his hands start glowing uh, to that red. I don't know if he's ever cast Fireball before. No. He's always cast Fire Bolt. And when he does that, um, you see a little flame that appears in his hand and shoots out. But as he starts uh, developing the flame to become a little bit larger and larger, he... I don't know if you fling fireball. I think it just appears. I just kind of spiked it down. You throw a red bead. A red bead shoots forth from your hand. You don't throw it. It shoots forth from your hand and streaks off to where it's going to detonate. And then when it hits, it blows up. And his hands get uh, glowing red as he shoots this bead out in Thomas's general direction. I'm assuming you're going to do it so it won't hit anyone else or the horse that he dismounted from. I can do it for four people. Wow. I be running. You're an evoker. I forgot. All right, roll a dex save. Sure. I go through the formality. Do you have advantage? Uh, if you're raging, you do, right? I didn't know how that Danger works. Sense? Yeah, I. Do you have? I to don't be think raging? you have to be raging to do it. Is that how it works? Just, so yeah. you get advantage on well, dex. Saves. I don't know what level it happens at. Two. Um, let's see. Features and traits. I want to say it's two. Yeah. I think it's as long as you can see Danger the sense. Right. Yep. As long as you know it's coming. Okay. Well, I continue to go through the formality. Do you have a plus in dex? Plus one, so it's a 14. What's your ace? Oh, what's your DC? It would be your proficiency plus your modifier. Plus eight. Plus eight. So ten plus It'll your modifier. It'll tell you at the top of the spells. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, 15. 15. You do not save. Yep. You will take a full fireball's worth of damage. It won't put him down, I'll tell you that much. No, I know. Um, I'll just piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'd be running. <laughs> 32 damage. Did you roll? Yeah, I just did it on my phone because I didn't want to roll eight day. 32. What? No, you got to roll. Come on. What? Okay. It's That's the, that's the digital it, eight, cheat. 8d6? I want to yep. see the physical dice go. being like, come on. Here you go. This is the here whole point go. of getting together. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> and the most rewarding part about casting fireball. You can just like, look at this stupid. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just doing these. So let's see. Six, six, twelve, thirteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-eight. It's respectable. So 28 fire damage explodes at your feet. Um, the horse that might have been caught in the blast is completely excluded from the damage of the spell. And as the dust settles, the snow melted at your feet. Uh, you're kind of standing in a slush puddle at this point. The horse rears its head and uh, takes off a little bit. Oh, Woodsman, that's you. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> it says, I'm out. <laughs> yep. Does it trample anybody on its way out? <laughs> no. Okay. Unless you want it to be you. The small door. <laughs> yeah, the, the smaller <laughs> ones that are hard to see. Um, do you want to move any? Ten paces away. I'll start heading backwards That's towards probably the a good horse, idea. But I'll casually walk, so... Fifteen? I mean, walking is technically 30. Right. As, like, the fire fire is going behind me, I start oh. walking backwards. Doing You're, the you're doing the walk away walk? from explosion? Yeah, you're doing the slow walk again. <laughs> well, that's good, because I'm going to hit you in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are 40 paces away. Okay. Yeah. Which is just enough. Which is exactly my move speed. But there is some difficult terrain. The snow. Not anymore. Not around you. Around him. Around him. Well, I'm going to cover half the ground, and then I'm going to rage once I get within range. I hear it comes. <laughs> oh, I knew this will be bad. <laughs> Fuck him up, Art. And I roll. Run! She's yelling. 
<laughs> I'm like, fuck him up. <laughs> I'm with you, son. If he beats you shitless, I'll keep you alive. That was amazing, but run. <laughs> hmm. like, no, you got this. So I, I start chucking it over to him. And as I rage, the snow starts to give way to more plant life up and around me. Oh, and wow. plant life temporarily grows around you. Until your rage ends, the ground, all ground within 10 feet of you is difficult terrain. Oh, once it gets on, you rot. <laughs> rot. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> can't get away. Oh, that one's the least combat effective, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the worst thing for you right now. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Is it difficult terrain for you? It's within ten feet of him, but I don't. If it moves with him, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's constantly within ten feet. Yeah. Of him, so yeah, he's always until your ra- your rage ends. You just slowed yourself away the whole time. So everything. It would be good if you're already on them and they're trying to get away. Aye. Yeah. But it would be good if you're trying to close the distance. Yeah. Well, like I guess, like you were saying, it was already... Some of it was going to be difficult train. Not all of it, but some of it. Some of the snow is too deep and you got to make big steps to get out of it. You just made it so you could kind of... Technically, you would have had the same problem. So you're both suffering a little from this. Okay. But now everything is difficult to read. So, so yeah, if you made it halfway, you're 20, 20 feet towards I'm going to give you your 10 paces away. Because he had some difficult terrain to get away. Yeah, so he would have had some too. So um, you're, you can close to within 10 feet. Yeah. As a second. If he has movement speed of 40. Yep, as a movement. He makes action. 20 and he rages. He has 20 movement left. He can make that 10 with yeah, 20. You can make it right so you're now. 10 away. Yeah, you so can get can, to it. Or you can it. act. You can act or you can use your action for a move. Um, man. What are you so doing? you're... So I can either double move or... Be 10 feet away and take an action. Yep. You can act now or you can move 10 feet up. Oh, no. I'll just get right... In his, right face. in his face. He is in your face. He is scorched a little bit. Are you mad? I mean, you're no. raging. No. He's kind of laughing like Thomas does. <laughs> a laugh rage. <laughs> That's the worst kind. <laughs> Scary as fuck. <laughs> That's the small mage. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> I'm cringing a little bit. Like, uh, oh, fuck. It's your turn, Arthur. Uh, Teleport away, lad. Do yeah. it now. Um, so let's see. Misty Step is a bonus action. Yep. So I'll... How far can you go? <laughs> 30. Up Ooh. to 30 feet. So I'll go 30 feet fat back. Any way in particular? Wait, I can't cast Invisibility then, can I? Nope. nope. You could cast a cantrip if you Misty Step. Um, so you can Misty Step Firebolt? Or? Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Misty Step. 30, 30 feet away... And then I will firebolt him. I love PvP. We do a lot of it. I love it a lot more when I don't make plants grow. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that you wouldn't like necrotically suck the life out of everybody in the area. <laughs> and just like, like, oh shit. Kill the horses and feed me. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't have any diamonds. Shit. <laughs> that was kind of a bad one. Ten damage. Two D ten? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Still, that's it's average. He didn't half it because it's not bludgeoning, slashing, mm-hmm. or piercing. Mm-hmm. And you're 30 feet away. Did you pick any direction in particular, or you just didn't care? <laughs> yeah, I just went. Okay. <laughs> didn't really bother. So, randomly, uh, what percentage is difficult terrain? Half of it's difficult terrain, 30 feet. So, he can make it... Almost to you. Almost to you in one movement. But not quite. Do you move afterwards, though? Uh, you can run. Well, you could move more. Oh, yeah, I'll move another full back. from. So he keeps retreating. He is getting away from you, and he is blasting you with fire. You can tell that you're not going to make it much longer with these tactics, these sissy mage tactics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he fights like coward. <laughs> Very effective coward, though. He's doing it well, though, and he's winning. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, What do you do, Thomas? 
What do I do? Are you um, yeah, it's very really aggressive over there. Out already. <laughs> I'm making obnoxious loud noises for That's no right. reason. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, 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 Thomas, I don't think we need to continue anymore. Don't apologize! Get him! She's yelling from the sidelines. You got a couple mm. cheerleaders back there. What do you do, Thomas? Um, it's looking bad. It's, it is looking bad. I got one more more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do it now. So when I realize that I'm never going to be able to catch this guy, I'm going to continue moving a little bit closer and then twirl the staff and jam it into the ground and cast not the gust cantrip, but the gust of wind spell, which is going, you're going to have to make a DC 12 strength save oh. um, as I make a line of strong wind 60 feet long and 10 feet wide. Blasting for me in the direction. Each creature that starts a turn must exceed in the safe throw or be pushed back 15 feet. Yada, 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 yada. So you're going to pull him 15 feet towards you? No, back, unfortunately. Uh, 17. Okay, so. The direction. He makes so, the safe So he oh, makes it. Yep. Do I get rid of the snow <laughs> and the plants? <laughs> it's making a strength save. Does the snow make a drink strength save? <laughs> uh, you'll push the difficult terrain out of the way if you want to do a full line from you to him. Mm -hmm. But do you put yourself in that line or just out of it? What do you mean? Does it it starts from you? No, it starts right, right in front of him. Starts right at you. Okay, yeah. perfect. Um, yeah, you push all the snow kind of left or right because you're doing a line directly to him, right? Yeah, straight. Draw from uh, you I to blow him. it past him. So there's a there's a and an igloo if behind it's him. a wall, but it's um from you to him. It either pushes him left or right, fifteen feet. Correct. It pushes him straight. It would back. push him away. Oh, it's it just like a straight still. line of. Well, land if you wanted to go just to the left or to the right of him, you could have a straight path and not push him back. He yeah. failed to push he, him back anyways. Yeah, he made the okay. save. He held his ground, which is fine. Which is not good. <laughs> you wanted to be pushed back. <laughs> yes, you clear the snow out of the way, but that was your action. That was. He is 30 plus away. 45. Um, how much of the difficult terrain did you go through? Did I, did I roll that? So you're 45 away. Mm -hmm. And so I will. That was my action. He does do some impressive magic. I'm impressed. And Beldora actually claps for that. Good show, Tom. And then. So I, pick my staff back up, put it over my shoulder like a hobo, and I walk 40 feet closer to him. <laughs> the Terminator style. <laughs> He's within breathing distance of you. You can smell his breath. He's not even social distancing. <laughs> Five feet, not six. Right. Arthur. Uh, uh, Thomas, we do not need to continue this. Uh, we are just wasting our resources right at this point. Lad, stop talking. Just fuck him up. <laughs> Didn't let him get close enough. <laughs> Kick his ass. You're making mistakes now. Just fuck him up. Fireball. <laughs> right That'll next do to it. him? Point yeah. blank. Yeah, if you point blank. Denuke. You should do it. If you roll anything like average. Do roll. Do roll it. You exclude yourself from the blast. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> do you do it like right at your feet and exclude yeah. yourself from the blast? That's well, do it like... Skadoosh. Right on him, which is right next to me. Yes. Oh, fuck. Uh, so, let's see. Let's see here. Eight. Thirteen. Uh -oh. Fourteen. That doesn't sound like big damage. Um, I'll roll two more. Yep. Uh, Fourteen plus... That's twenty. Twenty-two. Well, that's not bad. Plus another... Twenty-eight still again. Yep. Twenty-eight did you save? Or fourteen. So Fourteen. 14. You dodged a point blank fireball. <laughs> Good on you. He ya. jumped into his little protection cone a little bit. Good on you, son. And all the ground in a thirty foot radius is glass. Yeah, cleared <laughs> of snow. Glass in the ground. 
Are you still up? And I'll move back mm -hmm. as still far up. as I can go. Uh oh. 30 feet doesn't. Doesn't mean anything. It's about to get real. Doesn't mean enough. So, um. 35 feet away. I'm. I pursue. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's all you can wow. do. Yeah. Well, I, I, get, I start running closer because I know what happens. Do next. that thing again, <laughs> she yells. Yeah. He's out of juice, lass. He's out. I, I rage start, again. I start running closer. Yeah, you oh, don't have to rage to again. Rage. He wants I, I to. Do. I had to. I dropped it so that I could cast a spell. So I, then you have oh, one level of exhaustion. Oh, go. No, one he level? Doesn't, that doesn't happen. That's, I'm not a berserker. He's a, he's a different oh, kind of barbarian. Okay. Don't create difficult terrain around yourself again. I start running close. I'm like, I'm coming, lad. It was a good show, but it's over now. Yeah. Necrotic energy burst from you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> each each <laughs> creature within 30 feet. So we're going to have to decide if there's any other creatures, horses, there aren't or at a... this point. I am moving towards you at all <laughs> speed, so I would guess that I am now within 30 feet. Sure. Takes 1d10, and you gain temporary hit points equal within to Within 30 feet of you? Yep. So not him quite yet, unless you move first. I no, move he moves first. You got in his face and then did it. So you and you both give me two hit points. That was give sweet. me? Yeah. Wait, you, do you take it? Yeah, I, I gain a temporary. You, you vampire <laughs> steal just, that <laughs> And I get, I'm up to still single Ugh. digits. Watching this is making me feel kind of sick. <laughs> you have like that horror just as he's about to baseball swing his head. I'm like, oh, I feel ill. It's going to be so bad. <laughs> and then, yeah, I give him the old reckless attacks. Uh, uh -oh. yeah, okay. And he's already had two <laughs> shots on me. He's cheating! She yells, she yells. <laughs> Uh, 22. <laughs> That's a hit. Oh, me. So you take 5, 11, plus 4, so you take 15. Is that plus your rage damage? 16, 17. 17, 17 oh, damage. I wonder You're why my thing's not on. Yeah, it's You're like, done for. You did so good. <laughs> it's like a fight with a giant. It's no fun. <laughs> That's your 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, good night, sweet prince. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Non-lethal? Of course. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there, he won't have any teeth left, but non lethal. <laughs> Four, ten, eleven. I like how you're rolling the most large, obnoxious <laughs> dice you can find. <laughs> 21. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, no. <sighs> so the first one. Comes across your shoulder, and then I do the full happy Gilmore golf swing, and you're just a little bit crumpled over from the first hit. So I bop for you right in the stomach, just a full <laughs> explode through. Should have double moved. <laughs> I should have moved. There's not much you could do there. No, nope. he caught you. You came really close. All right, it's over. It's down. over. Done. Done. <sighs> done. Done. Oh, yeah. He uh. Hits Arthur's body. You see it lifted up off the ground slightly, and laid back down in the snow. Well, what's half your hit points? What's well, halfway? Uh, well, my max is thirty-two. So half is sixteen. Yeah. So you take sixteen and take nine. <laughs> well, you can do it twice now. No, I can split it up. Oh, that's but I can cool. only get them to half their hit point yeah. maximum. After How many that, times can you cast it? Channel Divinity once or twice? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. I know at one point you get to do it twice. I don't think I can do it twice yet. Uh, <laughs> Wake up, small midge. You fought well. <laughs> All right, it's over. It's over. You did it. Yes, uh, you, f <laughs> you fought, you know, respectably for one so small. I. <laughs> he did a good job. Oh. Now everybody shake hands. My head, my head hurts so much <laughs> right now. Shake hands. Stand up, you fuck. Come. <laughs> and I pick him up with a handshake. This, <laughs> this was this was pointless. No, it's good. No, it was pointless. No, it had to happen. We will practice every day. No, you do not. You cannot practice every day. This was just prove a point. I yeah. do not remember what the point was. <laughs> I know. If it is not to practice. I don't I think, think the point was that you needed to shave. You're missing a little bit right here. Perhaps you can shave me when we get to understand. You want it all gone. I am open to options. <laughs> I don't think 
any point was proven to date. I do. You okay. didn't stutter. Yeah, show them you're not a bitch. That's good. Let's go. You think the brain trauma helped the stuttering? <laughs> <laughs> I knocked something well worth it then. and put it back to rights. Even though he cheated, did well. It's yeah. not cheating. He said it was okay. Your magic was better. I suppose. You were bested. I do say the the fire thing. You may perhaps need to show me that. That was very good. I particularly liked that you could exclude other things from the fire. That yeah. was rather interesting. Yeah, I I, I... I figured you were done for when you did it at your feet. <laughs> I've learned he how was. To, I've learned how to control my flames after I burnt down the bar in Nightstone. Well, gentlemen, on our way to Hundlestone. All right, here we go. I'll cast a good berry twice and give them each ten Ooh. good berries. That's... You can eat them now or later. I will eat them now. <laughs> no one ever saves good berries. Yep. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Theodore. They're basically just health. Yeah. It's an health. Unless you're hmm. really struggling for food, which you're not. I'll offer one to Beldora and one to Carmen. Because it's also sustenance for an entire day. Oh, thank you much, Tom. I appreciate it. Yeah. She takes hers and drops it into her flask. Thank you. All right. You, you are a strange woman. <laughs> it's coming from you. You're a strange group. But that was a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, that's coming. You. It is all your fault. Huh? She says, yes, even you. Nah, I'm not strange. I'm a dwarf. We didn't all be strange. You're not like all the dwarves <laughs> I know. <laughs> I... Hmm. Why not? Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose we'll be on our way to Thwips. Thwip, yeah. What do we have with this Thwip? Is he part of your... Not Harper Harper group. Hi. It's been deceived. And what are you hoping to do there? Not harp together? Uh, um I They're I will need trade to trade secrets. Well I, I I need to tell him what has been going on so he can report back to the Will you tell him about duel? <laughs> uh no, I don't believe I need to talk about that. Will you That'll tell him about tonight? I. <laughs> Will you tell him about Night in Cave with Beldora? It was quick. I don't know what you mean by that. She gives you a wink. What? Yes. She be cast in aspersions on your mind. Is there anything that you will actually be telling him? Flying giants in the cloud castles and dragons and, you know, shit like that. Frost giants. Even I know Aye. those details. Hey, well, now everybody will know them. But we're not telling it just to Thwip. Thwip can talk to people everywhere. Will he tell him about you being face planted by a frost giant? No, I, would, I don't need to add <laughs> It is part of details. hero story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be doing life stories of everyone. Just the important details about what we know about the giants and the incursion on the lands. He saved the entire town of Blinchando with how's that not in a warm detail? Valiant face we don't need to talk about how you got your ass beat. But we do need to tell him that they they do have the ring. <laughs> so we will tell him that confronted in single combat to save city over fate of ring and giant got ring, but no ass beatery happened. <laughs> I, you know, we can I, make we connect dots. Connect I, the stars and make I constellations. Rather, I rather like that, that story better than what actually happened. <laughs> but it, it didn't matter to me. It happened. What happened to him doesn't matter. Dude, I feel like she's <laughs> casting dispersions on your manhood. I say it in my best Irish <laughs> Listen, Scottish Whether accent. you had won or lost, which you would not have won. Well, actually, if you had won, we'd talk about it. 
I ain't Bennett. I'd be a hero for the ages. That's why it I did it. It was a pointless fight. <laughs> you didn't win. Nah. And you gained not nothing specialty. for not winning. Well, I got this great shiner here. True. <laughs> but nobody cares about that. Except oh. maybe you. Ouch. <laughs> I don't think she'd be your diddler. <laughs> <laughs> Nay, there'd be no diddling between us. He's too short for me. <gasps> no offense. <laughs> I like no, men that no are taller. <laughs> 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 Perhaps another duel is in order. <laughs> Go ahead. I didn't know what to say. I'm speechless. One, one who shares your ale. <laughs> Hi. Gentlemen, uh, and it's please. mighty fine ale for a short guy, huh? <laughs> I didn't say for a short guy. I, I, I you have to say it. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> fucking talk nice. I will just grumble right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not like any dwarf I know. <laughs> you guys get back on your horses. <laughs> you manage to. uh wrestle his horse from fleeing and bring it back. Ah, and you are brave now. Clap, clap. <laughs> <laughs> your poor You're horse. slapping your horse? Little yeah. animal handling. I'm not getting to the second It's a firm but gentle plan. Uh, padding. Um, let's see, skills? It's me. <laughs> Do you Nine. Have any of yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just punch it in the butt a couple times. You're brave now. <clears throat> Slaps you with its tail. Well, I'm riding it. <laughs> well, before you get on it. Oh, well, I was doing that after I, I was doing the old neck clapping. Yeah. It doesn't buck you off. Good. I would have to beat it to death. <laughs> <laughs> Fight for the tail. Use your last rage. <laughs> That's right. We'll talk about Tonight that. we're eating steak. <laughs> <laughs> or Triton. He's no one doubling up with me. It mm. isn't long before you get to Hundlestone. Um, actually, I think you're kind of right outside of it. So it doesn't take you long to get into the town. And everywhere you walk, most of the town is made up of very short, small hobbles. Or stone structures that are built into the ground. Um, there's a few freestanding buildings that look uh -oh. like... These are very small. <laughs> these are very small. And you're going to have trouble here. The streets are narrow. Enough to get your horses through, but not a cart. Um, they're not paved. So some of the winding paths as you're going up and up this uh, shallow, sloped mountainside are difficult to get through. Even on horse, unless you're able to, unless you have good animal handling, you'll have to get off and walk your horse up some of them. And Thwips just happens to be most of the way up, of course. Actually, you don't have to get off. I have a plus five in animal handling. Yeah, you're fine. What kind of plus do you have to have? Uh, if you have a plus three or better total. Does it matter if I'm untrained? Nope. Oh, yeah, then I can stand on my horse, too. Yeah, you can guide it through. I have an animal handling of plus four. Hmm. Just because of my wisdom. No, no. <laughs> you'll definitely want to get off. <laughs> like, yeah, beast, yeah. Well, Dora uh, rides up front with you, too, while they walk their horses up the winding paths. And you get to where she says Thwip lives... Which, it kind of looks like um, one of the, like a tomb in a graveyard that has a diagonal backing. And it, it would go downwards once you open the door. A set of stairs going down into the mountainside, down into the hill. And she taps on the door, which to her, the top of the door is chest height. You would have to squeeze to even get through it. <laughs> you are the biggest guy here. Yeah. 
Mm, I don't know if I can... Perhaps you wait outside. Perhaps we all meet outside. Um, no. Come out, come out, little twip. (laughs) (laughs) She raps on the door one more time. Come in. Opens the door, turns the knob, and walks on in. Like I said, when she opens the door, it's a set of stairs descending into his home. I'll enter behind her. She goes down. She has to duck. You have to duck when you go in. You do not. Are you going in as well, or are you going to stay with uh, Thomas? May have. Keep it on. Yeah, I think I will stay outside. (laughs) Do I want to leave him alone? No. Nay. I'll go ahead and close the door. You close the door, and it's well lit in here. Torch is lit at the bottom of the stairs, and it's shining a dancing light onto the ground of stone floor, and it's definitely dwarven architecture throughout. The walls are evenly made. They're not like rough-cut stone. And when you get into his little chamber below, you think you see a couple more doors off in the far corner. You know, it's kind of dark, but you have dark vision, so you can actually see just fine. You are having a hard time because it's kind of dim light down here, even with the torch. It's not bright. Feels like home. Yeah, and that seems to be intentional. Um, there's a few small chairs that are pushed up under one long work desk slash bench. And... It runs the entire length of this chamber, and it's filled with many different things, little trinkets, lots of paperwork, uh, a few items that look somewhat foreign. You're not really sure what they'd be used for. Maybe some kind of alchemy set, unless you have any, like, potion brewing or alchemical knowledge. I brew, but not like this. Not like that. Let's see you couple large beakers that are bubbling and steaming out the top and he's pouring some liquid which is dark purple into a clear liquid and you can see it starts swirling inside the beaker all the way down have a seat uh, thank you oh well Nora, i thought it was just you who are you he goes uh. back to like Pouring a little bit of powder into this. Yes, my my name is Arthur uh, Emerson, and I and I I am part of the Harbors. Are you now? Um, yes, sir. Well, I'm just trying to be polite, man. I've had a little bit of. I think I know. Who you are, just from what Beldoris told me, in as few words as she can send each day. Um, <clears throat> yes, I just wanted to report to you um, what I've uh, seen. Not reporting. Uh, well, I suppose it begins at Nightstone. He pulls these big, thick goggles off of his face, and um, there's a circle of flesh here that's not covered with any black soot or stain, and everything else is stained, including the front of his hair, which is spiked straight up. Um, his hair is normally a bright yellow, but everything on the front is just uh, black soot. Yes, it was um, re- the citizens of Nightstone uh, had their Nightstone stolen, uh, suspected giants, and foul play there. Uh, many casualties. We were headed up north, and... Who are we sending this to? What city? Uh, I look at Beldora. Uh, Waterdeep? Oh, e- yes, yes, I'm from D- Waterdeep. All right. And, uh, and then we continued, and we met uh, a friendly giant, and we flew in his castle, Uh, And there was a cultist. Uh, I suspect it was the cult of the dragon. Right? Uh, They attacked the giant, uh, but we we aided him, and uh, we were able to fend off the cultists. And 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 that brings us to Bryn Shander. Yes. 
The Frost Giants. Correct. Which is most what I have talked about, or what yes. I've been told. And we, um, we gave them the ring to leave the town alone. And I like kind of squint when I say that. Like, did this ring truly come from Art of Simber? Oh, you did. I got so it after tapping the desk. Like, I got it after he died. I was taking it to his son. One second. And you can see that um, there's some liquid running through these clear tubes all the way to a separate large flask beaker, which uh, is expelling very minimal amount of liquid compared to what's in the other one. Oh. Do you happen to understand what you did? Saved a town. Saved a town. That ring was a relic. An artifact. Was that bad? Well, in the wrong hands. That's bad. Yes. Bummer. Artist was keeping it, but he wouldn't abuse its powers. And it is powerful. And you handed it to an enemy. It's I... called the Ring of Winter. What's it do? It does a lot. Um, more than we probably even have knowledge of. But, from what I gather, there's a lot of high-level magic you can use through that ring. Well, not anymore. Turning flesh to stone. Oh, fuck. That's horrible. Changing the environment around you to ice, to cold, changing the weather. Whoops. Oops, indeed. I thought I was doing the right thing. Can't blame you for that. I don't know if we'll be getting a back. She beat the shite out of me. He smiles. I heard about that. I, uh... Beldora kind of looks at you. Well, I did tell him at least. <laughs> That's all right. It happened. <laughs> it was glorious for half a second. Then she beat me stupid. <laughs> yes, you have a big heart. Some say that Oral herself forged the ring. The goddess of winter. Oh, I have to get it back then. I mean, well, you know how to get it back. Just like anyone would get it back. I, I don't know. I think we can take it from the giants by force. <laughs> you would have to do it by force. I will. Mayhap will just let have it. They have it for now. I am. What was she planning to do with it? I'm not really sure. Didn't know she wouldn't say. It's probably not good. I probably not, not from what I hear, what they already did to the town. I probably not. I don't think they have plans to make this world a better place. At least not for us. Giants and the small folk have never gotten along. Why no? They're not from this world, from what I know. I, I, excuse me? Well, I don't think they're from this world. Where are they from? It's still debatable. An extra planar entity... They've managed to thrive here, but they're not from here. And mostly able to get along here until now. Well, that's because uh, the ordning is broken and their king is missing, so there's no more rules. They just do whatever the fuck they want. I've heard. I... I have also heard other reports here and there, but not just the king is missing. His queen was slain. Oh yeah, that's bad. Who did it? We don't know. Is there any clues? I am not that well connected to it. 
And how would we find out? Go to the source, find more clues. Go to the source, you mean go to the dra- or the giant's uh, giant town in the sky? Well, that's one way. King Hecaton lives in the Maelstrom. Which is under the ocean, right? Yes. Oh, fuck. I didn't like the water much. There's not an easy way to get there anyways. It wouldn't be like you can just stroll up one day and visit. So the other ways to get there are hard ways. There are other ways to get there. Um, The main way is to... Well, a lot of them can swim, so they can get there fine. But the main way they have our, all the other giants go there is through teleportation. I we need to find... Uh, what's his face again? Oh. Uh, you know, who? flying tower guy. Oh. No. Uh, yes. Um... I bet he can send us there. Hmm. I mean, we don't know how to swim. Swimming. I'm he, not good at stubborn legs. He did say he was going to contact us later on, didn't he? I don't know. Hmm. Must have been drinking that day. <laughs> <laughs> right, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose we're going to need to correct our wrong and go face those giants and get that ring back. Oh, fuck. All right. He raises really bushy <laughs> eyebrows. I think that's a good way to die. I'm just saying, I gave it my best shot, like a good old Martin's, you know, uh, stuff. And yes, but maybe we can go back to Bring Chander and recruit, and le- and bring them to die too. Look, lad, she beat the fuck out of me, like she did to me. What Tom did to you when he got his hands on you? Only it didn't take her that long <laughs> to get her hands on me, and she beat me <laughs> stupid. Crazy. Well, um, you were fighting alone at that time. Aye. There's 12 of them and four of us. At least 12 of them and four of us. Baldura, what do you think? (laughs) Well, you do have some amazing magic. And that one, she uh, motions towards the guy that's upstairs outside. Managed to beat you silly. He's not even a giant, he's just kind of big. I don't think you would be ready. I don't let him fucking put Do what the Harpers do. Information is key to success. I had a snake in there, like a secret E and shit. Oh, what, are you, what are you suggesting? Sneak into where? You know, sneak into the giant town and see what happened to Hecaton. And then to see. the giant town. Yeah. Yeah, that one that's just. And the mouse where... Well, first we gotta find that wispy bearded fella and see if he can get us. Listen, the frost giants. Yeah. Are not the storm giants, are not the cloud giants. <laughs> Aye. They're all different. Right, no, I think if we can fix what's going on with Hecaton, then he can do the ordering thing again and everybody will be fine and then just going, hey, I got the ring back, thanks, you know. <laughs> Is that what you think? I don't know. I'm just making shit up now. I just don't want to get my ass kicked again by a giant. That's all. That's an option. Or we could go and try to steal it from him. Flip looks up. He's distilled maybe a half an inch in his uh, big glass flask of this liquid. And it's actually kind of bright red. What you would think is probably like a healing potion. I agree with Veldora. Information is key. I don't have anyone really in place at the site of Neri's death. Queen Neri. Maybe investigate that. Let's get the sword first that kills giants just in case she goes by. I suppose we'll need to train and sharpen our skills and and yes, get the sword and maybe some more armor and I plate armor. And then arm ourselves with knowledge. Facing the giants might be inevitable. Well, well, next time I won't take it easy on that pitch, I guess. 
to know that or they'll come <laughs> to us, right? I, I guess so. Uh, so we, lucky they didn't hit here. I ain't no shit. We can only retreat so far under the mountain. Do you have things in place to seal off the surface? We can. That's good. Everything on the surface will be destroyed, but we can. I mean, if the giants come, you might have to. It's all replaceable. Rather be alive. I better to rebuild than to have to dig a grave. Yeah. I'll send all of this. Um, I don't even know what to say about the ring. There's not anyone in place at that far reach of the northwestern part of the Icewind Dale that we can even find out what they're doing with it. Unless they attack us directly with it, we won't know. Do you think Brent Shander is in trouble? It was. Maybe later. Maybe. Do you have any resources to contact Ironstone? Or Iron Master? Yes. Can you send word to send troops for reinforcement of Bryn Shander? I Agrik said he had kin. They'd help. Or Agrik. Yeah, I can send word through Agrik. Oh no, Agrik's kin. Of Agrik. Yeah, that's what What's he said. his last name? Uh, <laughs> Iron Helm. Iron Helm. Iron Helm? No, what is it? Iron, Iron Light. Iron Star. Helmet light. Bright Helm. Sun Iron. <laughs> bright Helm? <laughs> bright Helm. <laughs> right, Bright Helm. Yeah. Iron Light. <laughs> Iron Light. Bright so Helm. Close. You're the worst at charades. <laughs> you don't want to be on your team, it's true. No. <laughs> so horrible. Iron <laughs> Light. Bright Helm. Uh, yeah, and I'll give you an inspiration. That's a good idea. Something I hadn't thought of. That is a good idea. Good on you, lad. Good on uh, me? Yeah. I yeah, have too many inspiration. inspirations right now. Well, well then that's using some. Yeah, you gotta use them. <laughs> I didn't have any, so I <laughs> stopped bitching about Go it. Go have a social <laughs> conversation with Beldora. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, They're using yeah, those inspirations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I. So, let me re roll that. <laughs> like, I'm taller than this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not hey. quite as tall as that guy, but. <laughs> no, that was a good idea. So, he continues on. Um, if you can get to where Queen Neri passed, give me a report on that, but that's on the western coast, on the sword coast. It's near the port last. Uh, how can I report to, to you? In oh, you need a rock, a magic rock, right? That's how you do it. Uh. I have a couple spare ones. Uh, I, I promise I'll, I'll, I'll use this. Maybe I can learn the spell somewhere along the way. Okay. He goes over to um, some shelves that are mounted above his workbench. And on one of the shelves, you see a really odd holder for all his stones, which is just a bunch of triangles all connected together. And every stone is hovering above one of the little triangles and all kind of spinning above it, floating midair. Cool. What is he, where are you? <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even down there. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't see them. <laughs> no, just good. Just give him magic stone. Are you I, saying that he's getting the stones? Give he's some finally stones. getting some stones. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what did I say? Nothing. <laughs> was it me this time? Yes. No, he, no it definitely was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's better good. if he had two stones, but I guess one isn't bad. One yeah. is a start. One will do. One is better than none. One will do a trick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> two I don't just know. Made Maybe you'd rather have one magical than two non-magical. He pulls one of the stones <laughs> from its <laughs> holding place. And hands it to you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thwip. He marks something on the uh, holder of who it came from. You be a real harbor now, son. I suppose. That's true. So, are you just a watcher? Uh, yes. What are the other options? <laughs> I'd well, like to be a general. Rise in the ranks. Oh, sure. It's like, yeah, 
I pulled up my order of pin or my ring or whatever. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, you gotta, gotcha. You're a harp shadow today. Oh, uh, thank, thank you, sir. You've uh, done well. I'm not really sure what that means yet, but just say thank you. That thank means you. that you can now initiate people into our guild. Hey, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> He goes through a bin on one of the shelves, and you can hear metallic clinking and hands you a new pin. There you go. Well, I, I, I thank you. I'm very honored, sir. Yes. If you make it to the highest ranks, you could even serve under kings or queens. Hey, all right. I suppose that is a goal to look forward to. If that's Bleeding. anything you want. Hmm. Uh, though I don't think I deserve it quite yet. No, don't say shit like that. Eldora's like shaking her <laughs> head. She's like, trick. "You just got your stone." Yeah, man. <laughs> it's just a. It's this is just a a, a rock, Eldora. It, she winks again. Mm-hmm. Well, so shall we include the others in? Nay. <laughs> Maybe don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Neri, her corpse was last seen at Port Last, near the city. Right, last. write this down. Mm, I'm like, mm. you're on your own. I'm not down there. Yeah, right. No <laughs> shit. I'm like, uh. Uh, one second. Port Last. Port. She was last seen at Port Last. Yeah, <laughs> last seen at Port Last. <laughs> they took her corpse back to the Maelstrom. So she, she died. Not at the Maelstrom. No, she died on the coast. How, why was she on the coast? I need someone to go there. I really don't know any more than that. I will have to. We're gonna make a quick run through Mirabar and Silver Moon, but then we'll swing around. You have a lot of traveling to do. It sounds like. I we do, but it's all right. We have a fellow with us that makes it faster. That's good. I know some fellows too. If you want to make it faster. You how so? Crazy. In the city of Everland, there's a few people I know there at the Moongleam Tower, and they can get you from one end of this uh, continent to the other in the blink of an eye. Oh, and who should we ask for when we get to the Moongleam Tower? His name is Crowen. Crowen. Val Harrell. With a K? With a K. Crowen Van Harrow Van Harrow Val Harrow Val Harrow Don't get that wrong He's a little bit particular about it I, I want to say it He's a high all. elf You know them Oh yeah. shit <laughs> Right yeah, I, Crow- They don't know anything about underground or the earth Crowen Van Harrow Crowen Van- Val Harrow Very stupid they are Oh I, I brought something actually I have a set of insults for them here we go. You keep that with you everywhere. I do. It's fun. It's like a little game. So you, you take these that dice. Wallet? I did, yeah. <laughs> and then you roll them. And it's a uh, four, three, four. So you say, uh, roguish, elf-skinned, clot pole. You need to work on your insults. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have an insult generator. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I came with my diehard dice bag. It's fun stuff. Are you sponsored or something? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it is fun. I'm sure that if you do that, then you won't be part of the inner circle. I won't really call him any names or whatever. It's a good idea. I'm sure he's a helpful chap. And... To be part of the Harper's inner circle will give you access to travel quickly from city to city. And there's six different portals. One in Winterdale. Write this down. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Quit eating your cinnamon bun. <laughs> yeah, it was right there. One in Waterdeep. One in Neverwinter. Waterdeep, Neverwinter. One in Yartar. Yartar. One in Mirabar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you copy paste and send that to me in the message? <laughs> That's right. I have to go to Mirabar, yeah. One in Everland, which is where he is. Is Everland close to here? I don't even know. Everland is east. Okay. 
That's mirror bar. Oh, so it'll be a mirror bar first. But it can get you to where you need to go. Oh, oh, sure. So mirror bar, silver moon, back to Avern, and then over to Port Lost. Got it. Bye. Neverwinter. Port Last is north of uh, Neverwinter. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a, got a plan now. I got a plan. That's okay. You'll just watch the episode twice and write it down. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even I don't write this down. Which is why my notes are a little erratic. Yeah. Mirror bar. Erratic. Silvery moon. Everland. Never went. Erratic. Poor Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How do you spell tumescent? <laughs> I'm not going there. Well, All uh, right. Mr. Thwip, thank you so much for your time and um, the pen. You've been a great help. Uh, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind helping us out with some of those potions if you have any extras. Um, roll me a persuasion. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll give you advantage. <laughs> You've been a good guest. Oh, nine. 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 It means no. I'll give you one. <laughs> mm. You're now a harp shadow. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. He hands you... Um, it looks just kind of like a tiny vial of that red liquid. It's not a big potion jar. This is potent. It'll do the trick. And that'll be... Uh, 64 plus 6. 6 four sided dice plus 6. Hmm. Is there a... Is that a superior? 6d4 plus 6. Is that a superior? Or is I that... don't know which or which. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you find yourself in a bind, if you find yourself running low on uh, health, vitality, this will this will pick you right up. And if you're suffering from any exhaustion, it'll reduce okay. one level. So there's no 64 plus 6. It's a greater or superior. It's 44 plus 4 or 84 plus 4. It's right in the middle. It's in four. between. Yep. So there's nothing in the indie beyond 4. So. Well, that's a bummer. No, well, it also gets rid of one level of exhaustion. So. That's amazing. Potion is 6d4 plus 6. Correct? Mm-hmm. Keep on the path. And restore is a level of exhaustion. The path of arcane. You're doing well. Uh, I, I, thank you. Eldora looks at you. The stutter's back. I suppose yeah. my ego has been shot a little bit. Suck up, lad. But um, um, maybe we can go for a drink tonight. Yes. That sounds lovely. So Thwip will uh, tell you about the local watering hole. Um, I don't know. The Fox's Red Badge. It's a local tavern and inn. <laughs> What's it called? Brian? What's it called? <laughs> did you say badge? I did not say badge. No, he thought you said something else. With me. <laughs> Rhymes bad with me. <laughs> I didn't say patch. I said badge. No, he didn't think you were saying patch either. <laughs> well, it would work the same. I heard. <laughs> I heard edge. <laughs> Be an adult, Brian. God. Are you recommending that for kids? Don't bring your kids to the bar. <laughs> Don't bring your kids to the game either, evidently. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch. <laughs> nope. <laughs> What's our rating on Twitch? <laughs> Don't look, no look at no uh, shit. I'm going to call us PG-13. Uh, that's generous. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> In the R, the, the tamest. I don't know. It keeps changing over time, right? 
So the rating system doesn't average it out. It just looks at the worst shit in the movie and then decides. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. We're That's why they right. cut some parts, because they're like, we want to be PG-13. We'll just edit that part out, guys. Edit it from your mind. That's how it works. Badge. <laughs> Fox's red badge. <laughs> Foreshadowing of things to come. Hopefully oh, for a good wizard art. No, thank you. For one of your mages. <laughs> <laughs> for one of your mages. Yeah, she likes tall fellas. Um, Thwip, will you be joining us tonight? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Brian. <laughs> you didn't go to the bar, so if I buy. No, thank you. Um, do you happen maybe to know of anywhere we can um, take a job and get some coin along the way? Uh, we still need funding to keep going on our adventures. No, we don't, we don't have time for a job. we got to go, go, go. Hmm. It's all right. We have free room and board. Remember, we're deputies. That, oh, that's, that's, that is trite. I've never imagined myself being a deputy. Aye, so we didn't have to pay. Wasn't that just nice? Well, I suppose, Mr. Thwip, I'll wish you a good day, and I'll be in touch with you. And I raise the stone up. He puts his big goggles back over his eyes. Um, he goes back to working on his alchemi alchemical set. <laughs> Thank you. Um, come, Carmen, let's... Damn it. <laughs> okay. I go into the bar. <laughs> Dirty minds, dude. Seriously. I'm going to the bar. Come on. We'll get our not friends. Me. That's Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm outside. I'm not even down there. I'm, there's I mean, no breeze, so I'm turning the panels of the windmill for them. <laughs> to generate yeah, like, power. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you only have to, like, Reach up a little bit to get to it. <laughs> Why is the thing so small? <coughs> is it like noon now? Or is it like... Probably. Two? Yeah. It's like around 11. I saw there's a bar. You want to go this early or you want to go to the next town and grab the bar there? Where's the next town? Bar. This took a day and a half to get to. So the next town... Getting back to the... You're going eastward on the 10... No, not even on the 10 trails after that. So, you'll be taking the 10 trails down to the Northern Means Road, which skirts around the Clouthan Vale. Yes, that's where um, that's where we landed. Uh, the next town's like four days away at a healthy good. pace. You didn't want to stop now and have some drinks? <laughs> I mean, it would be wasting half the day. All right, we can push on, I guess. I don't, I don't, don't worry about we it. We can go see our, our merchant friends, Doria and Madeline as well. Are they here? Yes, they said they were coming through to Hundlestone. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. Let's take it one night. Uh, uh, they already travel here. I they came before us. You are picking Phrasing. up Mr. Carmen's uh, accents a little bit, Thomas. He tapping. Uh, well, sometimes I, it gets muddy. I sometimes do. I uh, even uh, uh, pick up uh, some of yours. Uh. <laughs> I kind of put my head down. I got a promotion today. Ah, oh, great. You are a medium mage. I suppose so. But... Uh, uh, Theodore, I, I believe uh, maybe we should rest for a night here um, to help and me get a drink. To help me recuperate uh, from my uh, uh, batter, uh, batter today. Your so, batter today? Ba uh, yes. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, there was some battery involved, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys make your way to the Fox's Red. Badge. Ah, uh, yes. I'll just call it the foxhole and be safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not helping. <laughs> it is a tunnel, right? It is, yeah, yeah. It's underground. <laughs> it's the foxhole. It actually is. 
Um, looks like it's built straight into one of the rocky outcroppings that comes up out of the mountain and goes straight back into the mountain. And it's not very busy, but you do actually see Doria there with her better half. Forget her name. Madeline. Madeline, thank you for having the notes ready. I'm prepared. And they're sitting in the back corner by themselves. Hi, lasses. Ah! Madeline smiles big and raises her glass, and Daria kind of turns her head a little bit <laughs> away. <laughs> so when I go up to the, the bar, I make sure I order an extra pitcher to go over to their table. Okay. You order an extra pitcher. Madeline, not joining them. Madeline raises her glass. Come over here. Join us. It's a party. You have room for three. There are Four. five of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. we could change that. Take that one's table. She points over to the one guy <laughs> that's sitting by himself. <laughs> you yank the table away from him, and his drink like goes with it. <laughs> he just scoots to the end of the table and grabs his. Drink. You join us too. Uh, give me a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy you around. That's how you give do me it. Advantage. That's right. That's how you do it. We'll buy you around, son. Right, now I actually have to look at the my skills. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> skills. Uh, persuasion, you say? Mm, that's a 21. 21. I could take a round. There you go. Looks like an old, aged or dwarf. Much older. I thought I was going to say orc from it. I was going to be like, and we kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over here. We gotta His, take you to the tool shed. <laughs> much older than you would think even your grandparents would be. Or oh, your nice. great grandparents. Oh, he's an older. He's got very deep wrinkles, and his eyes are, they look like he's having trouble even keeping them open, but he's keeping the beer flowing. There you go. He even has a few trails throughout his beard where he's um, dribbled a little bit. Over Way to go, Glamps. What, what do you have? Uh, I have what you are having. I like it. I go over to the bar. Give me some of your stiff shit. <laughs> <laughs> to, to clarify, you ask for the stiff shit from the foxhole. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> you gotta hear it for it to make sense. <laughs> I, I want some of your strongest liquor, <laughs> your spirits. I want the oh. paint thinner shite. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> he gives you some of his top shot. I already thank oh. you. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, while this is all going on, like I'll clue. Uh, Theodore in, and if Thomas is listening, um, uh, what? No, I'm, I'm talking to Beldora. Sure. So I'll clue <laughs> Doria. No, Beldora. Beldora. <laughs> I'll clue Theodore in because it makes things awkward. On all the places we can go and all the people that we can see. A whole new world. Basically, <laughs> here's the cliff notes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'll bop, 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 give keep, them all that. Keep them updated. So if he has any, he's the ranger. He knows how long it takes to kind of get to here and there and the quickest routes. So mm -hmm. I'll ask him. Uh, just to, maybe you can formulate a plan on the quickest routes and uh, what we should do first. It sounds like we're heading east, so that's the path we're taking. Okay. And that's that. All right. So it takes you a while to go through everything. Uh, you hand the old dwarf his drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll pop the top on the really good stuff, and I'll pour Cheers. him for my chars. And he starts downing it, but when he downs it, two streams from the sides of his mouth uh, start dribbling the... Very expensive alcohol into his beard, and his beard looks filthy. As if he hasn't showered in a long time, or bathed. How long have you been here, Grandfather? I'm 320. Hey, do you have any family? When you live this long, you watch a lot of people die. Everyone I know 
All of my family's gone. Who's this left? I'm the last one. I am so sorry to hear that. No. I lived a good life. I. Is there anything I could do for you while I'm here? Another one of these will be just fine. All right, fair enough. You've earned it. I pour him one, pour myself one. And he helps you get drunk. Yep. Or you help him get drunk one of the ways. It probably, you know, whatever. But is there like uh Probably once I start to tie one on, is there like a bath service or something around here? Like, can you pay to get a bath? Probably not in this town. Not in this town at all? No. Okay. All right. Do you know that spell that cleans people? Um, and unfortunately, no. I, I, oh, fuck. All right. I would have used it to clean his britches in the fight. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I guess if I drink enough, it won't matter. All right, Grumps. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, G. Fuck's sake, man. Come on. And he has this odor around him, a stench. If I get drunk enough, it won't matter. No, it's not baby. like it's bad geez. body odor. Jeez. <laughs> But it's definitely pungent and strong. And All right. Just being around him, it takes a little while for your sniffer to get used to that smell. I'm trying to kill it with alcohol. All right. Did you want to do anything, Brian? All right. Well, I'm there. Yeah. I'm gonna of course be, he does. going to be I'm gonna try to just keep it out Casual. of game, though. So I'll, I'll uh, you know, be drinking. I'm probably going to go up and see if they have any good good like true Irish whiskey like the shit that tastes like peat moss and dirt and the stuff the taste. stuff that yeah uh, peel paint and, brew, and yeah. kills you know kills plants it's also their you know their raid and their <laughs> and their, their, their herbicide their insecticide and their, and their liver side mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah that's their main brew yeah that's they brew their stuff very strong. That's kind of like you get. saw Thwip. Uh, well, you didn't, but they saw Thwip uh, distilling a very strong potion from a lot of liquid. Mm. That's how they make their whiskey here. Yeah, they use it to clean, you know, horseshoes and stuff. Exactly. Perfect. Uh, get some of that. They'll give you as much as you want, but it's Probably a little bit expensive. I'll carouse a bit with uh, the lady who said she likes tall guys. And Beldora. Yep. See see how that goes over at the table. <laughs> <laughs> She's never expressed any particular interest in the large blue man. Yeah, but uh I have I have the confidence power of <laughs> no social inhibitions. <laughs> <laughs> at some point I'm gonna try to clue you in. Like at some point while you're hitting the bathroom or something, I'll follow you and kind of No. <laughs> Look, man, come on. And I'll just be like, hey, Art needs help. He needs a good wingman. He's trying to get in the sack with Beldora. Like, you gotta help him out. You're better at this than I am, obviously. Will do. (laughs) (laughs) I pat him on the back and set him loose. I go go from there up to the the bartender and I say, I need a room for three. (laughs) (laughs) He hands you the keys. I won't ask. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I'll get her. Good. I'll get her. Going. You didn't do me a favor. favor. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do anybody. You didn't do Baldora a favor. You're so welcome, yeah. bud. Yeah. Well, I, I'm pretty sure you were meaning to help Baldora out here. I'm not trying to help you out. And you did it. You got one stone. <laughs> now you need your second. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to get We're going to cross some things off your bucket list tonight. <laughs> It's not, it's not on my bucket list. <laughs> well, you can write them in afterwards. Yeah, right. There's those blank slots at the bottom that you left there for just in case. <laughs> I think I'm going to get an appetizer platter at the bar. They serve it and uh, bring it over to our table. <laughs> he just wants a popcorn. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just watching it all, hanging out with the old dwarf. We just get drunk together, watch this it's stuff like fried unfold. fried popcorn shrimp here. Mm. Shrimp. Oh, yeah, Ocean fruits. Shrimp. Yeah, they got a little oh, We are near enough for real food again. We'll have all of it. Well, <laughs> up to a certain extent, everything you get is paid for, yeah. including that real strong whiskey. Good. Nice. 
How hard are you going to pursue this um, new venture? <laughs> uh, I, I guess he wouldn't even think of it as pursuing. He just assumes it's supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, to the hilt. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I think, yeah. So your think, job is to convince her my, to like him. No, you're wrong. No, no, That's not where this I is think going. <laughs> that may have been his intention. Right, but something else is happening. But he worded it very poorly in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm assuming that I'm supposed to initiate a threesome. He needs, <laughs> well, Dora he needs some help. And the small mage. I am good. the wingman. Yeah. The this big mage good. needs to teach the small mage. Show him how it's how done. To, how to how do, do it. How to become the medium mage. Yeah. I, I, you are very he dangerous. As a, <laughs> you are very I, dangerous as a barbarian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I assumed. The middle mage. The middle That's mage. That's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, no. <laughs> Can we just fade it to black and say it happened? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's the safest. No. No. The question. The question is Matt oh, no here's the question there's no question yeah, no no there's questions <laughs> the question is how many times has Art drunk and how much can we convince him to drink tonight well because, he did want to drink tonight yeah so we just you might not even know what the fuck happens I don't want this anymore <laughs> I want my mama I don't want this anymore <laughs> I want my mommy alright Matt is not interested in Beldora and Beldora is not interested in you, and this weird triangle you've tried to create collapses <laughs> onto itself. But you have Everyone goes three. home alone. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty block. sure yeah. uh, Daria and Madeline go home together. Right, they go home together. Because <laughs> they consent, like two adults. And consent is important. It's a real I'm thing. just confused about every time that I take social guidance from you. <laughs> it's horrible. Like, it's so bad. I feel like you just don't understand people. <laughs> uh, You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that may be true. Yeah. I actually have a great insight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have worded it better. Yeah, yeah I should have. You're said starting that to learn that the way you word things is important. Means a lot to this man. Yep, I got it. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, I didn't try to correct him once I saw it was happening at the table. I just sat there and drank and watched like, it. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, you best just hold on. <laughs> Hope the train goes fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, that the train has crossed. We are good. Fair enough. Fade to black. Fade to black where everyone goes home alone. Yep. Um, besides that, the rest of the night passes uneventfully. Where does the old dwarf live? Does he live nearby? Does he know how to get home? Is he all right? Yeah, you find out that he has a place to stay. Okay. And he can get there after we're done drinking? He doesn't, like, pass out of the table? Yeah. He's fine. Okay. That's he doesn't cool. even pass out. That's good. He gets drunk. Okay. I just want to make sure he's all right because I feel like he's old dude. He doesn't have any friends, you know. You wanted to bathe him, but you couldn't. I wanted to get him bathed. It's different. <laughs> I didn't want to bathe him. I wanted to be like, can I pay someone to do this? <laughs> like... I love today. <laughs> I don't know about today. <laughs> I love today. Well, oh, I love today. I don't know if Arthur knows about today, though. Arthur had a great day. He got a stone. One of two. I suppose. He almost whooped. Thomas's ass, mm -hmm. so close. It was a near thing. Yeah, it was. But besides that, as you go to bed thinking about these things, a little drunk <coughs> from the drinking that you initiated. I probably took half a drink. Well, a little buzzed. Mm. You think about the day's events until your eyelids shut, and you wake up and it's morning again. Man, we're like, we're like those party friends that you don't want to get drunk around. That's kind of sad. <laughs> He's the adult in the room. Well, yeah, sure. No. It's like I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> no, we're like those sketchy party buddies that like you didn't mind partying with a little bit, but you didn't want him to get too fucked up around right. it because you didn't know it was going to happen. That's what I'm saying. Yep. Yes. He's a cautious fella. <laughs> Very cautious. The sun <laughs> comes up. The smell <laughs> of bacon and eggs. And other uh, food from the ocean. Mm -hmm. Fish. 
very strong fishy smell. Yes. Few things in the world like crab in the morning. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Still have crunch on outside. <laughs> Quick breakfast and then out. Like, uh, and uh, well, where are we headed first again? Morden? No, that's my god, not a place. <laughs> <laughs> on our way. <laughs> next is Luskin. Is next on path. On the Mirabar, yeah? Mirabar, that's what yep. I meant. Between Luskin and Mirabar, if we see a weasel, we can kill it. Weasel? Oh, those are small bugs. That is much less fun. No, the weasel was that guy that the dude was looking for. Yeah, that one, yes. Right. Who's that about a weasel? Weevil, weasel, whatever. Okay. Something. Sure. Uh, you guys part ways with Beldora. She heads back to Bridget. Wait, the weevil was a dwarf? Mm-hmm. I'll say thank you for your help and your guidance and blah, 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 blah. You say your goodbyes. Yep. Fade to black. <coughs> no, there is no fade to black. It's just, I say goodbye. No, there is none of that. I'm not <laughs> doing that. Uh-uh. I give her a big old kiss. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you can do that. You go in for the kiss, you lean in, she turns her head. No. I give her the plant. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, and you part ways on your way to Luskin. Goodbye, Diddler. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's Harper. All right, Lass. Take care of yourself. Watch out for the giants. You too. <laughs> no, she likes the tall ones. Bye bye. She smiles she's and leaves. Obvi- yep. <laughs> she's obviously on their side. <laughs> and I walk away. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think so. The travel to Luskin, it would be a little tougher than normal because as of this morning, when you step outside, the snow has picked up. It is now. Just a full-on, thick, fat snowflakes landing on the ground that stick. And it would be very difficult to get through this, except you have a ranger that's attuned to this uh, land. So after an hour's worth of trudging through, you find the best and easiest path to make it to Luskin. Um, do you want to pick up any rations before you left? Are you guys running low on food? You know, keep good berries going. As long as there's living things, he can provide for food for all of us every day. You can forage every day. It will take time out of your travels. Yeah, I (coughs) figure we're doing enough traveling, I can forage. So we might have some dried rations, but... Or we can pay for more, it doesn't matter. Yeah, not take from that stockpile unless needed. On our journey, watching you using your bow, I kind of want to learn to dabble in the bow and arrow and so I get like half a tree to use as my my bow just like a ridiculous huge sapling it's gonna have to be strung with like steel cable or something Hmm. but I start start working on that okay that's what you're going to do over the course of the next four days. Um, besides the never-ending white tundra, the constantly being feeling soaked, weighed down by heavy clothing and furs, and even you, uh, Thomas, you need to wear thicker clothing in the freezing cold to keep warm. It, eventually, you'll make your way to Luskin, and that'll be a four-day-long journey, and it is a long, miserable journey. It's hard to keep good spirits up in this kind of weather, but you do make it there, finally, and the city of Luskin is not your typical romantic port-side city, which it is on the coast. It is a squat... Um, dirty, filthy city. All the buildings are short and squarish. The docks look like they're old and they're not upkept. 
And there is a stench coming from the ocean. It is not a good smell. It is awful. <clears throat> but it is a city that will offer you free room and board. Even so, since you're deputized. Um, all right. Cool. So unless you have anything in particular you want to do inside the city... Um, how much exploring you want to do. They offer you free room and board, and you've had a full four plus one days, so you'll have your long rest. Long rest. I just want to push on a mirror bar. So, the way good berries work, I can use it, and then it's good for seven days after that? or it's, Five days. Or five days, rather? Yep. So, if I cast it at the end of the fifth day... And get my long rest. I would have ten good berries that would last for another four days, right? I believe so, because doesn't it last twenty four hours normally? Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> as long as it lasts twenty four hours originally, and it didn't say it expires at the end of a rest or something. Okay. Yep. It says it lasts for twenty four hours, so I'll do a good uh, batch of good berries and just put it in my pack. Right. So you'll have ten good berries for the next while and just before we do our long rest okay so if you're not going to do anything in particular unless can you head out for i want to find a merchant that has bowstrings that will be very simple they have tons of those so i want to go talk to someone who can make one for my that ridiculous gym? oversized are you bow. actually looking for a great like longbow uh, I'm not sure it exists this is no elven <coughs> longbow this is this is he just be wants like to a, skin it as being huge I want it to be ridiculous and strength based mm. I have to think about that mechanically wise. Cause sure. I break things. Yep, I'm uh, sure. Javelin is probably your best bet. Well, yeah, that's what I'm going to use as arrows. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe it's just skinning, throwing a javelins. Javelin. So I just need to. Yeah, because you wouldn't be able to get a large thing that far. So I think you'd have to skin javelins as. You want a javelin bolt? A javelin launcher? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they could make you something like that. I mean, I'll just skin it exactly like javelins, True. damage and range wise. Nice. But instead, you're a loading giant 20, javelins. Twenty sixty or something. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's sad. You have to. I'm gonna would get a feet. Let's <laughs> 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 watch them longer. Not now, sure. normally. Crossbows, I believe, take your bonus action to reload. Javelins don't, though. If you just skin it as don't. being a javelin. I don't think yeah. bows take an action to reload. No, yeah. they do not. No. Bows don't take that either. Yeah, because you don't have that weird... You don't have a crank. Yeah, crank. Yeah, this is this would be just a giant bow. Launching <laughs> javelins. I like how it's <clears throat> like your wand is actually a fucking maul. Your bow is actually just javelins. <laughs> like... yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You're> crazy mage. <laughs> well, if you didn't get rid of the javelins, then you would have yeah. had a lot of arrows. <laughs> we'll get some more of those later. Oh, you can pick some up here. They're really They're super cheap. cheap. Yeah, okay. I'll do that too. I'll right, get so... six of them. Oh, I was going to say a bundle of tens, probably like oh, okay. five seconds. You're going to have to go through Carmen. He's got all the cash. he got a little bit of cash. Do you? Or if you need some, it's yeah. fine. Just let me know what you need. Yeah. He's like, look what I made. <laughs> now I need more arrows. <laughs> nice. Sure you do. I can only shoot accurately so far, but when I really want to, I can do this. Boom. Just fire it over the city. <laughs> He goes, 60 feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's where it's accurate. <laughs> no. That's where I can aim. It doesn't go that far. It's not made for this. It is Someone made for this. Someone rigged you up something awful. They jerry rigged you. It kind of works. <laughs> a tree with a string. The strength part of it is loading the damn thing. <laughs> you have to mm -hmm. take the javelin and 
pull it back with its own power. There's no crank or anything. All right, let's go. The only other uh, featured um, piece of this city that catches your eye is the row of longboats that sit near the docks and well I know you don't like boats but they're definitely um, eye catching just because they're something different no oh, javelins mm. are 3120 oh nice it's not bad mm. 3120 so you can throw it 120 recklessly are you sure? I think I don't think so I mean I looked at a javelin plus 2 and I assume it just that sounds is... like an amazing javelin or plus one, plus two. We're gonna ruin Brian's. <laughs> you already <wishes>. have. <laughs> it's your specialty. I'm like, hey, yeah. I'm gonna do this really cool thing. You're like, that is really cool. Let's nerf it into the ground. <laughs> you can't. You can't take out his kneecap. <laughs> you did a good job. You made him limp. So can you recklessly? Whatever happened to your familiar? They are thirty one twenty. Oh, okay. Can you He's recklessly throw or no? I believe reckless attacks melee attacks. Oh. Uh, 3120, you are correct. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it has to be melee or else. Okay. A little bit accuracy, barbarians beat the jam. Thomas, you're going to lose out on all your inspiration soon. You have another. But you can only carry over two. Thomas? Oh, no, you get one finally. Yes, I go back. <laughs> I have inspiration. Name, so. <laughs> nice. Somebody likes my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try to convince him harder? <laughs> so yeah, you can do a 120 distance disadvantage. That's not bad, right? Mm -mm. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, but it is fireball range. Mm -hmm. yeah. For when the mage goes after him again. <laughs> for, when, for when he tries yeah, right. to do that running away. Skadook, skadook, skadook. <laughs> yes, um, uh, so, so Carmen, um... I know that you don't like traveling by water, but um, and it's I'm uneasy as well. But uh, <laughs> there is the Mirar River that we could probably travel upwards to, to Mirabar. Well, we know that person that uh, works in the ferryways, don't we? Uh. Not in this city. Not, no, in this city. not in this city. I would have to pay for it. How, how much faster would it be, do you think? <clears throat> I mean, my character would know, but I don't know necessarily if I would know. Yeah, it'd probably be twice as fast. Instead of like five days, it's two and a half? or Depending on where you're going. To it's butter. not just five days in Miramar. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not? It's much, much longer. Oh, no. How long would it take if we take the boat? Half the dis half the time, so we just have to get one of the two times so we can divide or multiply by two. Let's look it up. So the city of Mirabar. Is that even the first one you're going to? I. Because <clears throat> after Mirabar comes the place with the tower. Oh, I guess it's about. Five days. I thought Mirabar was a little further. So you could chop off two and a half days traveling by boat. How much would it cost us? Um, I don't use the ferryways often, so I'm. However, not Silvery Moon and Everland, much, much further. But in Mirabar, we have a connection. Right? No. No? Everland. No, we had a connection in Mirabar. Oh, for a yeah, boat? Duvessa. Duvessa's aunt. Yes. In Mirabar, Duvessa's aunt could get you uh, traveling. Well, you could travel by boat through her. So we. Could... She gave you a whole big sheet of parchment on it that you never read. But if you pull it out and look at it, it's just a letter to her aunt talking about passage on the dancing wave. <clears throat> this map's huge. <laughs> well, uh, if, if everyone else wants to take a boat... I'll suffer through, but I didn't like them much. I'm not a fan of boats either, but I can't disagree that it won't cut some time off our travel. I'm no good swimmer. My oh. stubby legs do not do it well. Do not end up in water. I, that's the whole plan. That's why I didn't like boats, because they go on the water. That is why boats are magic. They are boundary between you and water. What if something goes wrong? 
That is always a possibility. With or without water. Aye, but if it goes wrong on the water, it's more wrong. But you're on the boat. If the dragon comes in the water, water don't matter. I'll do it if everyone else wants to. But if there's a vote and someone else votes nay, I'm with them. I so, believe the proper vote is I. I don't know. You? I. I. <laughs> I, I, I got you. And, and if, do you want to want to go on the boat and shave off the time? We can go I don't on know how shaving. Much in a rush boat. you are. Shaving boat until I get the, my magic sword. All right, we'll go on the boat. I wonder if Weasel is out here. You mean the Weevil? That one. I didn't know. We can kill two Weevils with one stone. Let's just take the boat. That's what I'm saying. Now that you are on board, let's get on board. All right. You're going to head down to the docks. Aye. As you move through this city, the closer you get to the docks, the worse the smell gets. It's pretty uh, pungent, acrid. Um, you're not really sure where it's coming from. Is that coming from the sea? Is that coming from one of these buildings near the docks? It's hard to tell, but it's not just fishy. Maybe rot. Artie, it smells like your mother over here. Uh, uh, Thomas, please do not speak about my mother in that way. Well, the proper answer and is... You can tell that, like, I'm, like, <laughs> when it comes to my, like, when you said my mother, I, like, I get... That's when my face, like, it's pretty All right. stern. Watch. The proper answer is this. Fuck you, Tom. <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah, see? There you go. <laughs> I'll just kind of remain silent. <laughs> you maneuver your way through these uh, narrow streets... The ground is, um, as you get closer to the coast, is less and less, or it's more and more in disrepair. Things aren't really kept up in the city that you can tell. The the city's uh, buildings, a lot of the windows, shutters are broken or falling off or hanging on one hinge. And give me an insight check, everyone. Uh Uh-oh. Yikes. Mm, I think we're good at these. I keep it. (laughs) That's a match. Oh, fuck. Did you use your inspiration, you nah. dumb shit. Come on, Use man. it to punch Arthur. <laughs> please. Not now. For another fuck's one. sake, please. Have another one? Yeah, you can have another one. No, he has I'm going to use one right now. I thought you hit, you just got one. I just got That's one. That's the one he hit. Yeah, use it, man. He used the other one to hit you. We're going to get robbed blind and beaten in Nolly. Well, I have to roll again. That was horrible. Fuck. Yeah. You it guys. Oh, another one. Shit. It doesn't matter. You have I so many. Had, one. I had... Oh, I haven't. You have two. Well, I used one. I want to. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> God damn it, I have none. All right, if you're using two, then I'll use one for mine. I just rolled a one. Oh my God! What <laughs> the it. shit? Oh my. So we, as a group, we fail. I got a five total, by the way. Ah. You, keep your highs. Yeah, you didn't. You could have said that before. <laughs> <laughs> we wasted three. Okay. Keep I like high. when you waste them. Oh, no one has any. Yeah. I've been out for a long time. It's. I don't know. The smell is making your eyes water sometimes as you're going through. He talked about my mom, and I kind of just shut down. Oh, yeah. You saw his face get a little bit red, too. Yeah. Perhaps she is dead. We will not talk of it. No, no. Leave it be. <laughs> and, yeah, you make it to the piers where you see there's no big um, rigs that are, like, craning things up and down on these ships all these ships are low to the water long boats you see a couple barges that they probably maneuver their way through that river but what are you doing well go find a barge that looks like it's maybe taking passengers or is there a harbor master guy gives you a look (laughs) he keeps walking on i grab his shoulder Friend, ask you question. He, at first, looks back very angrily. (laughs) And he sees him. (laughs) Hmm. He 
gently removes your hand from his shoulder. I'm just looking for a harbor master if there be one. I don't know how it works around here. There ain't no fucking harbor master. Well, how do you find a boat going where you want to go? Go fucking talk to the captain. Which, which captain? He turns around. All right, I go that find... That one is not the captain. No, he's not. <laughs> that's not him. I'll go find a barge. That yeah. one is cause of giant smell. You leave your horses on the uh, land side before you go onto the piers. And these piers are pretty By elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by horses. Yeah. It was so good. You I take my shit before I leave the horses, <laughs> so I bring it with me. <laughs> well, you can leave them stable somewhere, or you can leave them uh, tied up. Uh, is there a stable boy? Or some kind of stable in here? Those stable. Yeah, all right, stay with the horses. Yeah. If I'm you a, all want to go. I'm are you dep- going by yourself or are you I'm all a deputy? going? No, I'm no. taking that. I'm, I'm a deputy. Stay with my horse, lad. Come on, fellas. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's all going? All of us. We'll go together. You all head out to the piers. <clears throat> past all the foot traffic. People are mostly manually carrying everything up and down from ships. Oh, sure. Uh, different people have different bags, but everyone here looks a little crusty. Um, maybe the smell's coming from them. Maybe uh, not. It's hard to tell. Yuck. Yeah, I'll go find a barge. They look worse than that dwarf. That's 320. They look weathered. You mean the seasoned. weevil? <laughs> yeah, the weevil. <laughs> we found him. <laughs> Turned him in for a not the weevil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been a great story. I had a, a dr- random I had drinks with the weevil. <laughs> you can still tell that story. I bought him alcohol all night. Yep. But you go towards the nearest barge, and it's a smaller barge, but it would... Uh, it looks like it's mostly used for cargo, but really it's the only one that's docked right now. Everything else is still out on the waters. All right. And the crew may be mm. about 15 strong. I'm looking for the captain. Give me an insight, unless you're just going to go start talking. Oh, I'll give you an insight. <laughs> I have 15. 15. You see the difference in some of the people... There's definitely the workforce, people that are loading and unloading this barge. Yeah. And then the people that aren't working are probably higher ranked, because that's how it always works. Oh, yeah, sure, that makes sense. He's up on the boat. Looks like he's hanging out by uh, the upper deck, by the steering. I'll go up there. The poop deck. The poop deck. I go to the poop poop deck. I think the poop deck's the back. I guess, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not visualizing what you're describing. I go up to the poop deck to talk to the captain. All right, you go up a shallow set of stairs to the upper deck where the uh, steering wheel is. The man standing there. Are you on my ship? I am um, trying to see if I can find a way to get, book passage from here to Mirabar. I was wondering if you're going that way. We'll be heading by there in a couple days. All right. I was hoping to leave soon. Do you know if there's anybody leaving sooner than you? Down that way, I don't know. You can ask around. Make it worth my time, I'll leave soon. Wanted to give some of my men a little more leave time here. You know what I mean? I, I hear you. How much would it take to make it worth your while? Well, how many are you? Four. We have horses. I have horses. I hate horses. They don't like the water. Had a few jump off. I'd say five gold each. We'll leave tomorrow morning. I want to give my men one more night. Let me talk to the lads for a second. I would say you boys. Yeah, how much how much uh, gold do we have right now? <laughs> Quick, take it out and count it in front of us. No, <laughs> we have enough. <laughs> <laughs> so we could, uh, you know, we could pay and leave tomorrow morning. And that gets us there in three and a half days. Or we can just leave right now on our horses and get there in five. So 20 gold to shave two days. Um, 
the Mr. Ranger? I mean, I prefer to travel by land, and I don't see a rush, so... Let's just take the horses. I am willing to go where you go. <laughs> All right, Tom. All right, we're just going to take the horses, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate your time. I think 20 gold to leave tomorrow morning is a little bit too rich for not enough savings of time for us, so... But I appreciate your time. Thank you much. Yeah. All right. We're off then. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you guys head back out away from this smell. I, I walk to the water. And I take a little handful for a second. Don't drink it. And I just scoop my hand through. And then I walk away. Uh, poor water. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. I'm sure once we get to Mirabar... From there, I'll be traveling by barge, so or by boat or something on the waves. You'll get your time. Uh, yes, rivers are not the same. But isn't no water hurry. isn't water water? Oh, no, like you... people, some are saltier than others. Oh yeah, uh, okay. It is like saying that uh, ale or small midge would drink versus that which you would make. Oh, uh, my. So some is stronger than other. Indeed. The ocean water, that is true water. Not filtered and all sparkly. Better for drinking, yes. But not good for swimming. Or for living. Well, I'll take your word for it. Or for cleaning. Oh, for drowning someone. <laughs> oh, you fuck. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> Quick, let's get the horses. <laughs> you go back, you grab your horses, and you head out of Luskin. Nothing to see here. Yep. Nothing so, good anyway. Leave that smelly town behind us. Nothing good anyway. Stinky and foul. Back onto the road. And I think at this point, you make it off of the ten trails. Mm-hmm. You're going to be headed on. What is that one called? I just had it. The Blackford Road. You see, as you're leaving town, lots of people that are headed that way. Much more than headed between the north and the south. There's a lot more traffic. And the wagons travel at a slower pace than you, so you end up passing a few different caravans heading that way in your first day of travel. <clears throat> you guys want to do anything in particular? No. Um, you going to practice shooting? Of course you are. By going down the road, <clears throat> letting one Wait. fly, and Watch then we it. chase it, go get it. Carefully don't hit no one. Of course. Right. Yeah, we just make the make the travel. I do want to hunt squirrel with this. <laughs> I don't think there'd be much squirrel left. Nothing left to eat. It is not for eating squirrel. Why would you kill something and not eat it? Others will eat it. Crows, etc. I guess he's not wrong. They can be hard to catch, but not hard to shoot. You continue towards the uh, next big town, the Ten Towns, but give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, that's 19. Group check. While you're all talking and traveling. 21. <laughs> 15. 17. There we go. Up ahead, slowly, is a group of travelers headed your way. But they're not on the trail. Not right on the trail, at least. And they're moving slowly, and they're all moving by foot. Very far off. This is like you're seeing ahead. I'm not surprised. So they're coming this way, but they're on the side of the road? Yep. And they're on foot. Seems strange. Why it's weird. Why wouldn't they not walk on the road? Are they looking to ambush somebody, or are, are they trying to, to be not hidden? Be seen? Looks like they're trying to remain hidden. Why? Maybe highwaymen. 
<laughs> excellent. Uh, what's so excellent about this, Thomas? We get the chance to take their things. Well, why would we steal from them? Maybe they're no, just no. trying to... If they're highwaymen, highwaymen means they rob people. Well, uh, what do They we... may attempt to take your things. Aye. And we take theirs back as well, payback. But maybe they're just... Um... Well, we'll wait and see what happens. We didn't know, but, you know, play by ear. Would you like mm-hmm. me to stay on the side of the road? I may have you be our counter ambusher. Ambusher. Yes. You know. <laughs> you know what I. You know what I'm saying. Is it dark yet, or is it still pretty light out? It's still pretty light out. Okay. Mm. Not ideal, but. Um. About. What are we looking at for distance? Any guess? Like. Mile. Hundreds of yards. Mile. Well, wow, okay. That's very far. We have such good eyes. That's why you see it way ahead of time. <sighs> Here come the deputies. He's going to continue on the trail. Yeah. I'm going to branch off and go through the wooded area. Okay. I don't know if somebody wants to take my horse as a spare, use it as a yeah. pack mule for a bit to make it not look suspicious. Sure. Mm-hmm. Aye, we could do that. Okay. Right. As you get closer, and you won't see this since you're off trying to remain unseen, mm-hmm. which is pretty much cutting off line of sight from them, too. Usually, you get glimpses here and there. When I'm alone, difficult terrain doesn't... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter for sneaking. I can move at normal pace. Yep, when I'm alone, that's so. fine. Give me a perception check. Uh-oh. 16? 16. You see someone about a hundred paces ahead of you hiding behind an, a tree that has no leaves on its branch anymore. It looks like the winter's taken the life from it. But someone's peeking from around the tree. Do they see me? They're definitely seeing you. Hmm. Let's see what you do. Oh, now is the question, are they... Come on. You're in the woods, no one can see you. <laughs> it's not wrong if no one knows. <laughs> if someone falls in the woods and no one else sees it, is it actually a murder? <laughs> the question is, does it make a sound if no one sees it? There you go. <laughs> Only if you don't kill him in the first shot. Uh, so, bandit looking, kind of looks like they're in the same group. Probably in the think? same group. Okay. They duck back behind the tree and with your 16 perception you can hear the sound of footsteps running through the snow away until you catch a glimpse of them okay can i'll take a couple shots all right hold it well there we go. roll initiative it's now it's going down uh just 10. you don't even know this is happening while this is happening i want to take a piss good idea (laughs) yeah yeah this is a good idea We haven't fought something else in a long time. I, All we do is sacrifice ourselves and fight each other. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Josh did fight a frost giant, if you call that fighting. It, it was no fighting. Yeah. You take five paces around so you have a better line of sight. Mm-hmm. Uh, my initiative, by the way, was a 13. 13. You go first. They're running. Okay, so Woundstalker stuff. Or Red Ambusher. Uh, oh, it was actually two more than that. Good that plus two to initiative roll. Get them. Do you want one of these, dude? The seven rolls? Mm-hmm. Save one. I'll you later. Start of your first turn combat, your increased walking speed by 10 feet, so I can catch up to him a little bit. Uh, also take attack action, make an additional attack attack. And I'm going to do sh- Sharpshooter. Actually, first, I'm going to use Hunter's Mark. And then Sharpshooter. Okay. First attack. It's a uh, 17 to hit. That is a oh, hit. Oh, wait. Minus 5. So that would be a 12 to hit. That is a hit. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's go ahead and roll your damage. Let's see. Uh, 
Let's see. So did you kill the mysterious person yet? Nope. Nope. Uh, doing I think it. I'm about to. Because a 12 to hit, hit, and I get multiple attacks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's and like, that's 1d8. Oh, it's a little kid in the woods. Hello, Mr. Orphan. Ah, ah. Yeah, if 12 hits, that's not good sign. 12 hits a lot of things. So... Like unarmed NPCs hiding in the woods. 9 plus... 10 is 19... Plus well, Hunter's Mark? That was... The D6 is Hunter's oh, Mark. Okay. So... 17 plus 3, or no, sorry, 19 plus 3 is 22. 22 uh, for the first arrow. The arrow lodges right in his back, and you see him just go face first. <laughs> and he hits the snow. Okay. And I'm going to get up to him and try to cover the tracks and everything as best I can, try to make it look like nothing happened here. <laughs> okay, you... Definitely are able hey, to cover the tracks pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> and keep getting closer. You move on. Do you bury him under the snow? I'll try to make it so he's not out in the open, so if anyone comes looking for him, they actually have to dig. Okay. So, yeah, I'll take a little bit of time to... So while he's doing that on the side, you guys are continuing on the trail. Right. And... You're moving at about the same pace, really. They're like He's I said, running about a mile and we're just off. kind of going at a leisurely pace. Are you gonna run the whole way, like really scout ahead? Yeah. Uh I mean like I was saying, I don't uh move slower from stealthing. Yeah, but they're so. not going double paced. Ah, okay. we're, we're going Well, you're on horse. Yeah, fifty or sixty is a single pace. Yeah. If you run double pace, you'll probably be about the same. <laughs> right, right. So as you get closer, you can see there's a lot of people. Fifteen. Um, total people. But as you get closer, you can see that some of them are probably children. They're smaller. Hopefully looks like we they're... will never know what you did. <laughs> Hi. So children, that's... Okay, maybe not bandits then. And you continue on the trail. They're they're running off of the path as you get closer. They look frightened. Aye, it's okay. You start shouting. We mean you no harm. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, 18 with a minus 18. one. Um, the people with children. Looks like there was a couple mothers, probably. They run a little further into the path. Um, it's really hard to cut complete line of sight off here. There's just not enough cover. They can hide behind small hillocks or anything that the snow's built up on, but that's about it. Maybe dead trees here and there. The vegetation is sparse. Things are trying to cling to life, but they just can't in this north. However, one man stays behind Hi. as you guys approach. Hi. It's okay. We're not trying to hurt anybody. Are you coming from Luskin? We are, yeah. We're going to Mirror Bar. You've been, been running for a day now? Why? Our, our village was attacked. By what? Something big. So big. A giant? He doesn't really recognize... A giant for what you say. Yes, it was giant. Was it uh, like stand on two legs kind of thing, like a man, or was it like a beast, like a dragon? It ripped a horse in two with its bare hands. Well, I don't know if that's a dragon or a giant, but it's both of those things could do <laughs> something like that. That's horrible. Yeah. Oh. So sorry. Where, where are you from? Oh, we have a few farmhouses just up north. About a day's worth. A little bit in the valley. It came in by itself. We're the only ones that escaped. Did it fly in or did it walk in? It walked. It walked. On two legs? Yeah. It's probably a giant. It's 
Two legs big, tore a horse in half. It sounds giant to me. You know about this? No it's much. It's been happening everywhere. Really? Has this? Oh, I don't know. There was a town uh, that it got stones dropped on it from a flying castle full of giants. That's kind of wild, but <laughs> you're <laughs> blowing his mind. Right <laughs> yeah, now. I'm like, but I don't. The giants didn't walk in. They just dropped rocks from the sky till everybody left. And he's old and gray. It's all right. You can come out. He yells, and the people start filtering back and walking back. Alex, what did you do? <laughs> I took out a scout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I did I miss? <laughs> there is people fleeing from their city, from their town. Mm. So. I'm just waiting for my son to come back. He was just looking ahead. Oh, sure. <laughs> Sent oh, no. him off on his own. These woods are dangerous. He's the best pair of eyes. I hope he has the best pair of legs, too. <laughs> Sometimes you find things you don't want to find out here. That's why we all... We weren't sure about you. Tell him to stay on the road next time. Yeah. Even we do not venture into woods from here. Not often. We try to stick together. We are hoping the closer we get to Las Cunas, the safer we'll be. I have a good hope. <laughs> I don't know. Luskin's not the best of towns, I don't think. It's the closest we got. We, right, sure. we every once in a while trade between the towns. At this point, you're coming up on the group as well. And you can definitely tell it's just peasants. Mm. Women and children are now trying to hide in the woods while the other part of the group approaches. I think I'm going to continue to remain hidden. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Yeah, avoiding unnecessary questions that way. <laughs> <laughs> We'd never speak of this. <laughs> we hopefully we'll never know. <laughs> Have you Shoot seen first ask questions later. evil on your journeys? <laughs> Don't know what that is. Is that a giant? It's a highwayman. Nah. It's a dwarf. Wee little man. When you say dwarf, he looks back at you. Nay, I am no the evil. No. All right, well. Do you have any spare food? Aye. We didn't get to take much with us in, when we were leaving. It won't go far, but I have two weeks of rations. It'll go further than it would have a minute ago. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> 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 oh, <man. laughs> uh. I, you know, I give him my two weeks of rations. Do you really know about no. these things? No. <laughs> they, a little bit. A little. I, do you think there's anyone still alive? I don't know. Maybe people were hiding. Would you be able to save them? You were hiding. Others may have also been. We'll go look. How far are you from road? Like I said. About a day. Do not like road. Not, not, not quite a day, no. But you have to go up the road, maybe about. I can give you directions. I give directions to to. Where the fuck is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> give all right. I'll take your directions. I just <laughs> noticed. Wait a second. <laughs> I I'll take your directions. So he starts telling you. Write him down. Uh, Write him down. Oh I, I, yes, here. He I tells know. you directions like someone from the past will tell you directions, and you see this landmark. You the go oak with this the moss way on the west you side. See that people don't do that now. Lightning turn strike left, through it. Google Maps. Take a left. Turn left yeah, at the gas it. station. Yep, yep. Go. And then once you pass the railroad tracks, you've gone too far. But <laughs> his main point <laughs> yeah. of interest is um, once you get there, head straight towards the tallest peak, and our valley lies before that. Toilet mountain. peak. I all right, we'll go. We'll go check it out. If you do find anyone, let them know that we'll be in Luskin. I'll tell them. And here's all my rations. Two weeks is all I have. I don't need to take everything. It's not very far from Luskin. No, it's all right. You might need it. Just take it. I appreciate everything. If I had anything, I'd give it to you. Nay, nah, don't worry about it. If you. If you do manage to find them and everything's still intact, I have a small cache that I saved. It's not much, but it's what I got. Alright, alright. You can, can use that for yourself. 
Thank you, Wunsch. Perhaps instead we send the word to you that is all clear. And you can go home, maybe. Either way, if you go and he tells you about this uh, oak tree that he planted when he was a kid before the winter really started becoming the winter. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of permanently winter, so it's just a very large um, dead tree. Sure, but underneath in the roots or something, yeah, there's a thing. Ten paces to the north towards my red barn. All right, write it down, write it down. Okay, red barn. Okay, all right, all right. There's a rock, I got it. With the chip in the side under it's the rock. It's hard to dig nowadays. Aye. It's hard to farm. It's hard to do anything. Aye. That's where you can find it. All right. What's Just your name? A small chest. Dagobert. Dagobert. All right. Bert. I'll Dagobert. Make... Dagobert. All right. Okay, Dagobert. I'll make sure that we uh, do what we can for any survivors. Strong family name, Dagobert? just like my father's name. <laughs> no, I'm good. For me and just like my son's name now. Right, got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we'll go check it out. You be safe. And you think the road's safe now? I don't know. It was safe behind us when we came this way. We didn't see anybody. So mayhap you'll be all right. But I'd make haste. With the gods and curse Oral. Curse who? Oral. Oral? The goddess of winter. Oh, sure, yeah. Sorry. Whoop, didn't hear you quite right. The one who made your ring. Oral. He wanders away from you, kind of towards where you were coming from, but off the path. Dagobert! And he starts yelling for his son. Oh, gosh. I don't know this. All right, come on, let's go, let's go see if we can find anybody that's alive in this village. May have, we can help him. Yeah. Are you on the, the cloud thin side or the other side? They're on the Cloudland side, but not very far off. Okay. It's only a little bit into horrible it's danger. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Step dab. my toe in. Yeah. Dip, dip. If you can't toe the line, then what exactly are you doing? <laughs> All right, here we go. <sighs> we go. You continue heading east, just like he gave you directions for. Um, and they're not hard to follow. He tells you about a split in the path that converges again and right about where that ends or where it begins coming from the other way. Go north towards the tallest peak. But you can pass the directions on to your ranger who finally comes back. Hey, we do. Here, we got directions. That's good. Yeah, we're going to go check out this town. There are a bunch of refugees. Something massive walked into their town and started killing people. Ripped a horse in half with his hands. Mm -hmm. So it might be a giant, but we're going to go look. And see if there's any survivors. Okay. Did you find any squirrels in the woods while you were gone? No, I did not find any squirrels. That's it's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> He's always good to shoot squirrel. So little and shot with arrow. Just <laughs> always shoot the squirrels first, and that's what you <laughs> <laughs> I think this is probably a good point to stop for the day. Did I get experience for my combat? <laughs> He's like, you level up, everyone else doesn't. Oh, oh shit. All right. Well, that happened. Yep. So. Let's go ahead and do some shout outs before we do Rose and Thorns. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. Dagobert, no. <laughs> I don't remember who all I shouted out. I think I ended on Harrison Wallace, so Skinbeard. Thank you for your follow. That's a weird word. Biba. And Grave SE. Thank you for your follow. We've got Elisterion, Edel Dilo, and Knight Shazade. Thank you guys for joining us today. Um, thanks for being part of the Breakfast Club. We had a. Finally got out of quarantine a couple weeks ago, last week maybe, and back in live. It's been nice to get together again. Obviously, mm -hmm. we're joking a lot more. <laughs> Brian can't keep himself in check anymore. 
I'd feed off other people's faces. <laughs> like, That's a horrible yeah. thing. All right, Hannibal. Yeah. <laughs> this is <laughs> like seeing the reactions is intoxicating <laughs> that's why when i say i want the faces bigger on the overlay that's what i mean so i can see again see what we have done what see you what have done see what we, happened we we <laughs> no it's uh it's been nice but let's go into roses and thorns alex <laughs> <laughs> let's see <laughs> I'll say uh, Rose is, uh, I got to do combat. Uh, <laughs> you did. <laughs> and did it well. <laughs> uh, I'll say my thorn was finding out that uh, it was not a needed combat, and I was not killing a scout that was going to go back and tell, you know. No, you're killing a scout 20. that was going to go tell him. Well, I mean, yeah, but it wasn't to create an ambush, be like, hey, there's. It wasn't for an ambush. Yep. I was thinking he was going to alert 15 people to come attack us, and it ended up being uh, he was going to alert 15 women and children that uh, right. there were a few people. different families yeah. that managed to escape the terror of their town. Yep. And yeah, shot his son. Paul mm-hmm. Dagobert, no. And I hope they never find the body. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well... This fletching is very conspicuous. It's like... It's got a trademark on it. Whose is this? <laughs> I do not trademark my arrows. They are very bandit looking. Yeah. <laughs> not descript in all ways. <laughs> you buried his body with the arrow sticking straight up out of the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Little red fletching flag here. Oh. Oh. Go ahead, Brian. Oh. Rose. I'm not sure if my rose was goading poor Matt into everything. Again, probably that. <laughs> um, like I said, I, I, I mostly just like the that role, role-playing aspect where we get to feed off each other's reactions and mm-hmm. uh-huh. uh, take Josh's perfectly legitimate advice and <laughs> Make it something fucking play, play it. <laughs> Oh, like super literal when I need it to be super literal and and turn things around. That's always the most fun for me. Um, Thorn, Lusk, was it Luskin? Luskin. It doesn't even matter. That that city was a dud. It was like, oh, it smells, it smells bad. We don't stop. It's a river town. Yeah. Yeah, it just... It's just, uh, I think, one of those balance things where we're trying to figure out how fast we're going, what we care about, what we, what, kind what of matters when, when we're going. Or... Yeah. How much we stop and look around. Yeah, there's just so much on the table right now that it's kind of hard to determine. Like... Mm-hmm. You're at a pace of your own doing at some points. Yep. To be fair, it's a large table, so there's a lot to be on it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Let me see. My rose. Oh, man. There were a lot of roses this one. <laughs> Alex killing an innocent kid. Oh, no. Now you're the kid killer. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, like an adult my, to me. What a I like it because the whole setup from the beginning was just families fleeing, but you didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And instead of going and investigating, you chose to act. I mean, he was running. He was definitely <laughs> running. Guilt. <laughs> <laughs> running in blood is guilt but I like that there's this element of I'm not going in after the fact and changing things you just did what you did based on the knowledge you had mm-hmm. and it was the wrong thing really wrong thing it depends on how you look at it probably well, if Carmen was there I think he'd call it the really wrong thing <laughs> Carmen would been like spare the dying spare the dying <laughs> like... it would have been too late oh sad yeah yeah, I did sharpshooter. He sharp shot him oh, for twenty two damage. It's like five hit points are not adequate. And if he didn't go down after the first arrow, I had two more to go. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> you have three attacks. Yeah, on my oh, first turn. On his first turn, he gets and it would have been sharpshooter on every single one of them. Oh no! <laughs> I felt like at that point, I don't think there's too much more I could give you to warn you off because 
he looks kind of shabby like a bandit might. I mean, there's mm-hmm. nothing really off about him. Yeah. And I mean, even if he's not armed, if he's, he's going to tell people who are armed, then yeah, he's still a danger. And he would... I mean, I think Theodore is mostly... There's not as much right and wrong as there is for, you know, a paladin or, you it's know, clear someone good forward nature. Forward it's, and... it's basically, is this person a threat? Is this thing a threat? You know, the bear is going to attack anybody that comes near it. It's survival of the fittest. And This time you're the bear. Yep, this time I'm the bear. <laughs> I happen to see someone that I thought might be a threat, and I took care of them. Sometimes you're the bear, and sometimes you're the goblin. Mm-hmm. So that was a, that was a rose. I liked Brian's fight with Matt. It was very magical. I know that it's not Matt's fight with Brian. <laughs> <laughs> but you picked it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we go to Juan, Matt, but it was awesome. Um, was I? Well, I don't think I had any thorns. Maybe it's just it's a slower pace today, but I kind of enjoyed the slower pace. I've been kind of enjoying letting you guys banter, and something I'll, I'll give you my best rose. I've read on a few different forums, too, that there's a lot of groups out there that the players don't role play, mm-hmm. meaning with each other. Um, there's a lot of groups where that just doesn't exist. They'll talk to each other in meta. They'll talk to each other out of um, game, making plans, doing things. But they won't actually go in character and talk to each other, and I think we're just lucky that we do because it's great banter. It's hilarious funny it can take up an hour in the beginning before we do anything but i like that and i would miss it if you guys didn't do that because then i'd be doing all the talking all day so i enjoy just sitting back and watching you guys talk that's my biggest rose i don't have any thorns it was a great day go ahead josh um sorry uh rose watching matt and brian go at just that the way the whole thing went down I feel like Carmen was like instigating it. He was like, "You gotta do it, son," and like, "Fuck him up." Uh, so that was just that was fun how that whole thing happened. Um, Thorn. Watching Alex kill that kid was kind of rough. Mm. I was like, oh, "That's my fuck. I was like, "Oh <laughs> no! Oh no!" Did you suspect it beforehand? Yeah. I thought when he was just like, I take the shot. I was like, mm. I'm like, oh, that could be bad. You know, because you didn't, we didn't know what we were going into. But I think that sounds like it's consistent with his character. And so I just hope Carmen never finds yeah, that's out. actively what he went out to do. Right. Mm-hmm. So I just Take hope Carmen bird. doesn't know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But, and uh, nobody knows the mm-hmm. Delaron moment. Yep. yep, that's why I was like, shh, yep. shh, that's exactly what it was. Theodore, Theodore Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take back my thorn from last week, which was I didn't feel like things were developing and everything like that. I, uh, I um, didn't, like, I messaged Ryan middle of the week and said, I finally figured out what my issue with this campaign is. You know, is that why it didn't have a fleshed out character? Like it was really tough to get into anything or care about anything. So I just stuck my nose in a book. Um, And I I think that's just kind of where we're at a slower pace. So it's, it gives, it gives opportunity to flesh out a character, but sometimes, like, I just wasn't getting into the slower pace style, like going through the shops or anything. Anyway, so that was my rose this week, is that I got to flesh out the character a little bit more, and I don't know what that battle between me and Brian did to his his psyche, you know? It's probably gonna make him feel inadequate. Talk your mother. Right, but he did talk about my mother, which <laughs> which is like a really That's sensitive, because cool. like, I've thought about my character, and that is a really sensitive subject for him. So, you, you guys wouldn't have known that, but... Nope, now they do. Now you do. Might be another button to press continuously. <laughs> so, that like, that side uh, hurts. But, yeah, like, that was, uh, it was a, at least a good session for 
for me there was a lot of we got the I got promoted and everything it was it was I want to say that might be one of the first times we've seen an active character development well at least be an egg dog like stop being a bitch uh-huh. throw some stones this is what you <laughs> should do and then got you to fight it's like the dad that tells their kids you got to hit that bully back that's right well, i was and <laughs> i was planning on holes. <laughs> and i wasn't planning on using fireball right away i was going to use fireball at a moment where like i was just pushed to the edge but that was right at the beginning <laughs> well i wasn't even like i was going to save it as like a uh, aha moment in uh in like a big battle, mm. right? I wasn't even gonna use it uh, right away on anybody, but this kind of seemed like I was getting pushed to that point where I was like, I just can't take it anymore. Stop yelling, I hate voices, <clears throat> fireball. I enjoyed it. I forgot that you can uh, exclude people from your blast, which is mm-hmm. awesome. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's yep. a really good ability for an evoker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thorn. I think I'm gonna go with Brian on this one. The last city was kind of like meh, but I think that's gonna happen just because there is so much on the table and it's a big table, right? Just like Alex said, so. But that, I mean, I didn't really have any other. There wasn't much development of the city. No, it was kind part of Part by me, thing. part by you. Yeah, it, it, it just, it, it, it was what it was at that point. It's not where you were going, so it just became a uh, road stop into your destination. Sure. Yeah, it was like a truck stop. My, mm-hmm. way. my um, maybe my understanding of long rest is kind of like it's kind of like weird though. So let's say I used Fireball today, and then like five days. It's five days, right? Mm-hmm. But, shake, but yeah, yeah. What if I used another spell and in three days? So like I use fireball one day and then that resets. And on Wednesday, that's I use why fireball you guys had to then... take a full five days. So <clears throat> even though it was just you two that fought and used all your resources, mm-hmm. well, I guess everyone used a little bit of resources. But say only you two fought. I don't want you guys on a separate rest schedule. Mm-hmm. You'll just reset the groups. Mm-hmm. So even if I use something on the fourth day, the next day is a long rest and. Yeah, like I use Goodberry, but I never technically entered combat. I guess I understand what you're saying, and I understand what. Yeah, hmm. that's a good question. Because if you have 24 hours for a long rest, like the standard model that everybody uses, if you fight that morning, you no, fight that afternoon. No, it's eight hours for a long rest. You can only take one every 24. Correct. Okay, so then not all of those five days are actually the rest, are they? Well, you shouldn't be casting spells while you're resting. But to get one long rest in 24 hours, I only have to rest for eight of those hours. So if a long re- if it takes five days to get a long rest, and you can get one every five days, do we have to rest all five of those days? You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? You're supposed to treat it like light activity, no casting, things like that. I think okay. I'm the only one that really casts in and I don't even know if you should rest. have done that when I'm thinking about mm-hmm. it. Because it should probably reset the long rest if you mm. cast spells. Kind of like you can't wake up in the middle of the night and start casting spells and say, all right, got my long rest. So then okay. if we do that and we continue to do that, then would that add a level of exhaustion if we can continue to no, delay it's gonna, the... it's going to push it off. Oh, you mean if we, we just go push it off indefinitely. Eventually we'll run out of resources and can't cast spells. And then we'll get... A long rest will happen. Yeah. Which... Or we'll die. Is a little bogus. The whole thing about it is I'm just trying to spread it out. That's all. So treat a long rest like you normally treat a long rest. It just takes a lot longer. I think part of the thing is like the ogres or the ogres, the orcs that we came across. If we do five day long rest, we can actually get some decent travel in between. But if he's got to put an encounter in every single day, then it's just going to be filler versus travel. It's going to be useless. Yeah, there's going to be so many orcs on the road that you can't do anything. Yeah, why would anyone ever be out on these roads again? (laughs) We might find one dangerous thing on a five-day travel versus So in this case, you found the orcs on your way to there. 
coming back, you found a giant ransacking some small village instead of that being all one day. It's spread out about like a month or two weeks or mm -hmm. things are happening around the world, but it's not always like there's danger around every corner. Sure. The, the mechanics of it is just the mechanics of it. That's why I say treat the long rest the same. Even though it's stretched out, I can pass five days like that. We did today. Your travel mm -hmm. to Luskin was mm -hmm. four days. I didn't want to, like, describe an entire four days, so we fast traveled through, and you got to Luskin, and you chose to leave, but you at least had your long rest by the time you mm -hmm. got there. Mm -hmm. But in this case, maybe you'll go into battle with a giant because you're going to go try to help these guys out. When you're done, if you don't long rest, maybe something else will happen. Maybe it won't be quite a giant, but you won't have had a rest in between, and that'll get you more encounters throughout the days. True. Maybe you'll kill a kid on the way there. Who knows? <laughs> that happens. I hope it was worth at least one experience. This time. <laughs> you take the giant this time. Oh, yeah. Teach him some magic. Right. It gives me more, um, I don't know, it feels more um, realistic that no, I, things aren't always. Happening. I totally get mm -hmm. behind it. I just, if I cast one spell on the third day, and then a couple days later, we we have, we by chance get into a combat or. We reset the like, five day. Like, or I cast invisibility on somebody. It resets. It resets, it resets the, the five, five day. day. Okay. Yeah. And that should be on all spell casting. So I will take back that. Uh, good 10 good berries. Good berry casting. Brutal. All right. I'm going to change my entire character for the next campaign then. If you're going to. Seems well. How would you do it? I would. I would make. I'm gonna make him not caster. <laughs> no. How would you handle a longer rest? Out of combat doesn't count. Utility spells, whatever. It's not like it's taxing him to make good berries. It's a resource, though. Yeah, I mean, but if you can, he could smith a suit of armor. That's, Before that's you start your long rest, you cast your good berries, right? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, if comparatively. If you can be a blacksmith or a, a yeah, lumberjack, if, if casting good berries is not equivalent. Good berries, it, long, it resets everything it, for four people. Yeah. So just saying, like yeah. a blacksmith would never get a long rest, basically, because every day they're smithing armor. So no, I said you can do normal tasks. Yeah, you like can, that. yeah, you can do something taxing like smith armor, but you can't do something magic, untaxing. It's more about resource management, though. Yeah. It's not about. I don't know. I mean, it makes more sense in the term of, like, when I say I might as well cast Goodberry because I'm going to get all my spell slots back. You're not going to say that in real life because you're going to be like, okay, I should uh, just not use Goodberry unless I need to. Uh, so, yeah, but I think the spell was designed in such a way that you're supposed to be able to cast it, um, like, and keep it around, not cast it when you need For to. For 24 hours, yeah. Right, and so like it's just a spell slot that you use for nourishment and/or ten free hit points, mm -hmm. balance wise. I'm just saying it's it's weird for me to be like I was doing, where it was like, well, we're gonna get a long rest, so I might as well use a good berry on the last day. You're basically trying to game the system, because that's what in a normal game, if mm -hmm. you have the short rest rules, the normal rules, when you're about to go to your long rest, I have about five spells to blow. Yeah, and yep. that happens a lot more when you're higher level. Mm -hmm. yep. There are days where my cleric Orin went to bed with half his spell slots still. Well, you don't know if you're going to get a long rest either. No, but there's no way I could cast them all. Right. You just guess you're going to get a long rest. I'm laying my head down on the pillow, so I want to cast everything before I go to bed and start my long rest. Sure. Which is not the same as... I've slept for seven hours. I wake up before my eighth hour of the long rest. I cast good berries, and then I go back to bed. And my spells reset. I understand that. Like, I don't think that I'm making an argument for that. I'm just saying if in a 24-hour block, only eight hours of it are a long rest, and most of the time the way that it works is before you go to bed, you cast a bunch of good berries. Mm -hmm. The five-day stretch does isn't separated into rest time and not rest time. You know what I'm saying? No, it's just the eight hours of like, rest time. Right. So it just seems like clunky in that way. It's it's not a direct translation. 
from 24 hours to five days. And that's what I was kind of talking about, like for Mage Armor, for example, mm -hmm. where you cast it and it lasts for eight hours. So if you do it just before you go into combat, for the most part, you're pretty good unless for there's like day, a second usually. combat right, during that day. Encounters, yeah. Uh, well, even chain encounters, if it's one after another, it you're still cover, good. Yeah, it's it just cover. if it's like at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. Right, which is where, rare. Yeah. I think I've only run out of mage armor <coughs> once. But with this, the thing that I was saying is, is it like if you cast mage <coughs> armor at the beginning of the week and it lasts for what I think we said three two, days. Three days? Those last two days, you You're don't get covered. another mage armor. Right. So you have to recast it, mm -hmm. which would reset your. Time rest. Yeah. Well, because you're not long resting yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you cast it, yeah, yeah start the, res the long rest timer over. And you have to wait five more days from the casting of the second time around. Yeah, that's normal. So in. You're not casting mage armor and then long resting. Right? Uh, I mean. No, but. Theoretically, in the 24-hour model, you could cast it in the morning. If you had to cast it again at night, you could, and go to bed. Before you start your long rest. So here, my question is more around utility. So let's say Matt gets Unseen Servant so that someone can wash the dishes cool for spell. us or something. If he casts it every day so that we can rest more, we would never get a long rest. It's fishy, because you can say, okay, I'll allow the spell. Well, what mm -hmm. else do you allow? And then what else do you allow? And then it just... Yeah, like, for example, my Hunter's Mark. It's good for an hour. Well, an hour is usually a short rest, so do you want to just make it a day? Does Hunter Mark last the entire day? Yeah. Well, my Mage Armor does, in the, these rules, Hunter's I do. Mark I think it's three or four days. It, you can make it last a day. Three or four days you allow. So then would it be a week three days. Yeah. But I'm saying that you're not going to cast your Mage Armor and then immediately long rest. Right. I think we're I mean, looking at this wrong. The, at would. the point you guys start your long rest is just when you stop doing things. Right? Yeah. What Use all we, your resources before you start your long rest. What if we just always did things? What if you always did things normally? Get to sleep eventually. Aren't there spells well, we are that sleeping. like if you cast every the spell every day for a year it becomes permanent? Yeah, and then you just muddy things up maybe if you cast it every week or it doesn't have a direct translation it's all mechanical that's all mm -hmm. it is guys it's just mechanical mm -hmm. it's not to hinder your abilities it's to stretch it out over a longer period of time because on your five days rest you're not planning to go save a town from a giant otherwise you're just not resting same thing if it was night and you had to go do something right now. Well, you're not going to start your long rest. But two events, two big encounters can happen within five days, though. Yeah, absolutely. Just like that's how it's supposed to work. That's like having a chain encounter in the day. I think you're more used to my last campaign, man. I really am. Where I could only really throw an encounter at you every day. Mm -hmm. One, two tops. If I get to three, then it's a busy day. Yeah, the combat encounters... But there's three kinds of encounters in the game. No, I know this. And I consider even your killing a kid part of this five days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's part of this. Is that a restful challenge? <laughs> it, was, it was very Gondo. relaxing. Very relaxing. I mean, we're going up. We're walking Gondo. casually on the road, talking to peasants that happen to pass us by. We're not resting, though. I'm resting. Horse isn't resting. That's true. I don't know. I don't. I don't enjoy the switchover, but that's okay. I, I can yeah. go with it. It's not a big deal. I just like the 24-hour model better because I'm used to balancing. But there's no 24-hour model, Josh. It's eight hours. But what I'm saying is, yes. Traditional rule set. Yeah, the traditional. Thank you. The fact that you can take one eight-hour rest every 24 hours. That idea that a 24-hour block of time is what you have to stretch your resources across, and in there there will be an eight-hour rest. That like is the way I'm used to running my character. I think the biggest difference is now uh, we can do essentially a long rest whenever we want because we use all our resources and then we wait for five days. It doesn't matter necessarily what happens during that time because once you've used all your resources, you're going to start your long rest. 
And it's kind of like when you go to sleep, you have used all your resources. You're hoping that you get the eight hours because you need a long rest. Well, we're also hoping that giants don't attack the town because we don't have any resources. Sure. So. And I'm slowing the pace of combat as well, obviously, <laughs> yeah. to accommodate. I'm not throwing three encounters at you in one day. I, I like the slowing of it. I understand where you guys are like, that doesn't make sense to me. But that's why I just want to like cut some of your five days of just what happens in those five days. Let's talk about it. Let's not role play it. Sure. You travel for four on the fifth day you rest. Kaberi seems like a good spell. It's just it, it gets a bit confusing on when to use it for these rule set kind of thing. Yeah. Right away. And that's a lot of spells probably over. that don't translate direct one to one. Yeah, spell casting just comes out a little bit different. A little bit. I mean, it was weird in the first place. <laughs> I mean, it's magic, right? Mm -hmm. It's weird. Well, we'll still tweak it here and there. If there's things that aren't working, we can tweak them. I think Goodberry in particular, I don't know. I never used it for just healing, I guess. I always just use it like, here's a good berry, you have it for the day. Sure you don't have to eat, yeah. That's how I always ran it, was, here's some in the morning, go ahead guys, have some good berries. <laughs> but, you're trying to do it at the end of the day, so it lasts a little extra. Mm. That just means you used your spell slot at the end of the day instead of the beginning of the day. That's all it means. Yeah, but, more so as like, if it's going to be an extra resource that I am going to get, I might as well use it now. Mm -hmm. So... But no, for the most part, I've only ever used it if somebody was hurt, and I'm like, eh. The only other good spell that I have is Hunter's Mark for first level, so I have four slots. Why not use Goodberry and give them, you know... What are their first level spells? Uh, Disguise Self, that's it. I got those three. Sure. Second level spells, I got Rope Trick, Pass Without a Trace, Spike Growth, and I can upcast Disguise Self for Hunter's Mark. And it's the only trick. reason I'm saying it would reset everyone is because I don't want you on four different yeah. five-day uh, long rest Rope schedules. trick? I don't know how you want to rule this one. Uh, basically, one. you take a rope, which I have on me, and it, and lasts for eight it hours. goes straight up, and it becomes an interdimensional hole up there. For a short rest. For a short rest. Oh, so, is it one hour? Yep, it's one hour. It's supposed to last as a short rest. So I don't know if it'd be eight hours so that we can get a night's sleep or if you'd want to call it 24 hours. Oh, because... I'd probably do it at eight hours. If that's okay. a spell you want to take, like I yep. said, if they come up, just tell me because yep. I want them to be useful. Yeah, and that was my spells. plan for coming down to save you from the giant. I would just grab a rope, be like, hop up there six feet and you can get away and stay in there for eight hours. Oh, nice. So they won't beat your brains in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. So, that's that's kind of the long rest in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. It's a bit weird. I think it's been working, for the most part. Yeah, we haven't run into a lot of problems. Yeah. I think in order to mess it up majorly, we kind of have to try to mess it up, and you have to kind of try to mess it up. Or forget certain things. Yeah, or forget certain things. Like, when you cast good berries, I didn't think about it like, yeah, that doesn't make sense, because it should reset the long rest part at that point. Mm -hmm. It's like waking up in the middle of the night to cast Goodberry, so mm -hmm. that you can, yeah. Game with that few more hours. Yep. All right, well, that was our long rest discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't landed on all the details yet, but we're trying to hash it out. Still a couple people are talking they have different rest rules, too. I, I don't know, I just don't really like the short rest rules. It makes it too difficult to balance short rest and long rest characters, in my opinion. I mean, the way I always thought about it is long-rest characters have to think a little bit about resources, and short-rest characters don't have to write resources at all. Like, you just don't have to think about it. But in the normal rules, long-rest, at least the way I run my campaigns, the long-rest guys have it as good as the short-rest guys, but they can just Nova. Yeah, maybe. It's like, it's my one combat of the day, I blow three fireballs. <laughs> I guess it just kind of You blew two fireballs in one combat, and you're like, I don't want to do this. It made you think. I don't want to do this. I really shouldn't be doing this right now. I'm using all my stuff mm -hmm. for a week. Mm -hmm. Which, it, it can be pretty tricky. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think some of the best classes for the way we're running now are like Rogue, because they don't care a shit about rests, really. Or Monks, 
monks do short rests pretty good. Well, that that just highlights the differences between how powerful a sorcerer or a wizard can be. I didn't think fighters would be interesting because they get second wind back on a short, short rest. rest. Not just second wind, action surge. Yep, action surge as well. Now, if you're battle master, do you get your uh, your like whatever your stunts are back on a short rest or a long rest? That I'm not sure on. Which one? Battle master. Probably a short rest. I think they were developed as a short rest character. Okay. Honestly, I wish when they did five they didn't really even do short and long rest stuff. Just make everything a long rest? Uh, I used to have in 40 they had encounter and daily powers. Which hmm. was interesting. Yeah, but it's kind of the same deal. Kind of. Short rest run on. But everyone had access to all of those, right? You everyone had encounter power. Too. You, you had daily wills, power. You had encounters, you had dailies, right? And you had utility. Yep. So everyone was balanced for everyone, which it's not that way now, but that's fine too. Right, yeah. All right, well, we've been rambling for a while. I'm probably going to call it here, guys. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for your input on rest. It is a little bit difficult, but I'll keep revamping it as we need. We will see you next time. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.